Oh yeah, these microphones are crazy. Yeah, don't you guys use League Voice? No way. That's crazy. Yeah, they don't use Discord. That's actually insane. Wait, I'm a mod. What'd you make? All right, time to get you banned. Huge. That's a good prep. As long as it's not like May 12th to like May 14th or some shit. Hey, bro, that's exactly when it's gonna be. <laughs> when is that? May the 4th be with you. Yeah, you're actually, you're actually competing with Star Wars. That's like, you're going to lose. Yeah. I'm just sorry. I'm you just gotta, saying. You got to compete with the Star Wars marathons going on on May the 4th. <laughs> Bro, maybe you, you, you just something. name your stream like a Star Wars theme. And yes. then. But then that has, but it has nothing to do with Star Wars. It's like just you working out or whatever. <laughs> maybe you have like a Darth Vader in the background. That's about it. Okay, we ready? All right, welcome everyone to session seven. Uh, you guys just escaped the Vician Marshes after uh, a pretty grueling, uh, grueling day in the swamp. Um, some of you uh, contracted marsh measles, which has uh, at this point dissipated. Um, huge, huge. Those of you who had Marshmallow's Lenses did not get Lesser Restoration, so that was Terragrim and Flint, correct? Um, you do have a little bit of scarring from the measles. There's, there's, there's um, me and uh, Flint. Yeah, so um, on your arms, uh, specifically the forearms, where there was little um, little hives and such, um, there's still little white spots are on your arms. Um where those would have been um so you do have a little bit of scarring from Feely. your marsh measles um but you uh were able to um acquire a spell tablet from the witch of the ways which um your benefactor m uh, asked you to acquire because he himself was unsuccessful um you dealt in secrets and learned some secrets about each other and about um, other people. Um, told some lies as well. Uh, and got out with a... I don't know if I would call her a friend, but she's a she's a good acquaintance now. Um, in fact, uh, some of you may be speaking with her again in the future. Uh, now that you have escaped the swamp, she has... She, um, used her teleportation circle to help you leave the swamp um, in an instant, and you appeared on the uh, on a different part of the swamp. And riding up to meet you um, is Serafina, and she has all your horses. <coughs> um, past Serafina, um, not too far away in a clearing, um, you could see a small camp was made up. Um, they look. It looks like she was expecting to have to stay there for a couple days, but. Uh, you guys completed your, your mission in about two. Um, so she looks a little bit surprised to see you as she rides up. Um, and uh, hello, TBC. Do you have what M requested? Yeah, we have it. <laughs> what do you mean subtlety? There's no subtlety. Needed. I'm with them. It doesn't need subtlety. It's just, it, do you have it or not? It was a yes or no question. Well, that was much faster than M said that you would do so. So, uh, 
Yeah, he said that he was in the swamp for days before he found her. <laughs> um, Serafina doesn't even like <laughs> doesn't blush or anything. She's got this stoic face of just a little bit of disgust, actually, as you say that. Um, uh, she rolled her eyes. Yeah, that's why she said that. Dude, I would that, be too. That, that, um, yeah. That's why she reacted. Is she, like that. Is she you know what? The For that question, I will have you roll insight. Actually. Oh my gosh. You roll actually roll insight to see if see what what it, it if you roll good, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh my oh god. god! There's no, no way. No. Seraphina, you you can tell Seraphina does not hate dwarves. She just hates you. <laughs> That's oh, what my man. nat twenty gets me. She yeah, bro. It hates. It gets me. you the truth. I mean, it, it got you That's exactly the truth. Right. The truth bro. If you oh, had gosh. a better question, and then maybe you would get more. But it was. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you, you got the truth. much else you could do. Can't change the way she feels about you. That's crazy. Um, yeah, you basically just read her mind. She really does not like you or your comments. Um, but uh. Anyway, she she kind of shakes it off and as well. Uh, she gets down from her horse and she reaches into a, a satchel on the horse's um, on the on the saddle and pulls out a bag and it's a pretty decently sized bag, uh, probably about the size of the bag of holding. Um, and it's it's sagging with the weight of what's inside it. And she approaches you. Um, and, uh, she hands the bag to Sirius. She says, well, this is your reward, um, for doing so. Um, it's a little more than M had originally, uh, had originally told you. Um, but he, again, when I sent him a mess word that he, that you had already come up out of the swamp, it was, it, he, he insisted on you receiving it all. Um, I'll take the, I'll take the bag and smile. And why, say, why is tell him uh, the bag that I, I send my thanks? I will pass on the message. Um, as you open the bag, um, and I'm sure all of you are kind of like leaning over to see what your reward is. Uh, it's filled with small little gems uh, you'll have to get that appraised of course before you you can sell that but from what M told me he estimated there were to be about 2,000 gold pieces in there uh, can we like verify that this is not a scam and he's not giving us like those little plastic gems that they sell at Walmart um, how would you like to do so? Don't you have stone cunning? Yeah, let's do some stone cunning. You're gonna stone cun all these gems? Can I just like, I, stick? I'll say, I'll say you can just reach your hand in and kind of like feel them. Okay. And then, and that'll be your stone cunning. Okay. Yeah. Do you have to roll anything for stone cunning? It's uh. History. Oh, it's in a, it's yeah, in a, yeah, it's, a history, history it's a history check. Which yeah, boys you have history, so. no fear. I have crazy. Roll, roll your history points. check, and then you'll add that one. six, I believe. No. Oh my god! That was terrifying. Oh my gosh. Um, it is uh, it is yeah. You 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 no. They are real. Okay. I'll they are right. very real. Um. In fact, you feel like there might be worth more than two thousand, just oh, from your there. time in the mines with your father, and and uh, bringing things to appraisers. You really do feel like it may be more. Who has the bag of holding right now? I have the serious. bag of holding. Uh, serious. I'll sit in there for now. We'll get it appraised later. Yeah. I'll put it in there. I asked Serafina uh, if she knows any. Appraisals, appraisal peoples, I don't know appraisers, what appraisers. Um, she pauses. Well, 
Thera is nearby. Um, this is the the other side of the swamp. This is where uh, M was kicked out of the swamp. Oh no! Oh, we, lost him. we lost him! Wait, this might be the longest loss ever. Hold on. Yeah, true. Oh! Hello? 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 Dude, that was a long one. I I, yeah. I saw it. It was so long that Drew's stream like buffered and like had to like I sat there watching it spin. <laughs> <laughs> Holy! <laughs> um, there is nearby. Um. This is the the Theron side of the swamp, and uh, in fact, that's that's uh, if you're willing, that's where Emma has uh, your next assignment as well. And I do know that there is um, an appraiser there, um, as well as other alchemists and magic sellers, uh, much more so than Bohan. I mean, if there's more where this came from, then I'm down for another assignment. I'm here. Very well. How did M get his money, man? Is it oh, you asking Serafina, or are you nah, just kind I'm of like kind asking of out loud? Thinking, I'm thinking. I'm just like thinking to myself, like, where did this come from, man? Hmm. Um, well, it's definitely something you could ask later on, or you could ask Serafina now if you wanted. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I look. I look to Serafina. And I say, uh, about how far away is, is Thera? And do you know exactly where the, the appraiser uh, is? By, by horse, and she turns around, she points, and there's, uh, something of a large hill, uh, nearby. It's just on the other side of that hill. It takes maybe an hour ride from here. Okay. Thera uses the swamp for a lot of alchemical materials, and that's where it's grown up. That's why it's so close. Make our way there. All right, yeah. Um, as you guys um, look up, it's it's about it's it's uh, sunrise. Um, you feel pretty well rested though. After uh, and uh, for some reason you feel like uh, something the witch put in that tea uh, gave you a little more than just HP. Um, so. You guys, have, you guys all have the benefits of a long rest currently. Dude, I knew I should have got some more of that tea to, to go. <laughs> um, as you um, mount your horses, um, uh, you start making your way to Thera. Um, Seraphina is riding with you. And um, as it's a short ride, um, none of you are you know, riding very hard. Uh, and Seraphina begins to explain the assignment to you. Uh, Thera is known for its alchemy. Um, and it has a alchemical library um, where they store many different potion recipes and uh, techniques potion making. Um, inside they have a vault where the arc Arch Apothecary uh, keeps his greatest potions and creations and um, I believe experiments there as, as well. Um, M is interested in one in particular. Uh, something called the Potion of Destiny. Uh, it is a recipe I don't believe has ever been made. Um, but you are... Uh, that is your your task is to get that from the vault. Okay. I don't have much more information other than that. Um, the vault is in the library. I know that. And uh, once we get there, I will be traveling on to Lothlo to meet up with M. Um, and once, if you if you acquire the potion recipe uh em invites you to come to lothlo to his home to deliver and receive your reward all right let's do this 
Do any of you have any questions? As I will be writing right through. Nope. Nope. Negatory, yeah. Actually, what, what did M want with the tablet? What scroll did he want to use? With this potion recipe? Or the, the yeah, spell tablet? The, the tablet that we got from him. Yeah, what from spell is on that? Um, did any of you... Uh, well, you've already handed it off to her. Hmm. Um, I think before then you probably could have made an arcana check at this point. Um, well, let's say if, if someone wants to make an arcana check on the tablet to see if they understand what spell it is, um, we'll, I'll allow that, um, since you guys kind of got the spell and left immediately and didn't really get a chance to look at it, uh, very closely, um. So, wizard. Yeah, yeah, probably the wizard. That's fair. That's fair. Really good. It's really good. Um, it's a spell you've never seen before, but Taledriel, you know it's a necromancy spell. And you know it's something that is powerful. The tablet itself feels powerful. Um, in we, fact, as you recall, what's that? I said, did only, we only at the point, Legion knows, unless he wants to reveal it to you guys as well. Um, uh, and Legion, you feel a jealousy. Yeah, thanks for the follow of this tablet. Uh, you, you, you kind of wish it was yours. Appreciate you. Um, so as, um, Sirius asked that question, um, Seraphina says, I, I'm not sure I know it's, it stores a spell, like a spell scroll, but it doesn't, um, burn up after one use. It's, it's, a it can be used multiple times. That's, that's as far as I understand it. Okay, cool. Can I roll inside to see if she's lying? Yeah, you absolutely can. Wow, wow. that's a good one. Yeah, roll. Wow, these rolls are insane. You can tell that what she told you is the truth, but she definitely knows more. Um to that. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna say or do anything about that or um <clears throat> I wanna make a deception uh deception roll I wanna I wanna say to Seraphine. Um I was just asking because the witch did mention, you know, when we handed her to the tablet, she laughed and she said I'm not sure if you're going to want to use this one, but here you go. And she handed it to us, and that's how we got it so easily. So I was just, you know, wanted to make sure you knew what you were getting into before you handed it off to him. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can roll deception on that. Uh, Ser Serafina nods. I'll, I'll, I'll let Em know. Um, she seems a little bit more hesitant. She tucks the tablet a little bit further into the satchel, uh, the saddlebag. Um, and that's, uh, that's about all that from that interaction. Okay. Um, Who's as you guys are writing, make some money. Um, you guys come up on, um, a town. Now the town that you've been to so far have been, very lavish, very uh, large and imposing. Um, and Thera is very different from that. Um, Thera uh, is a much more of a quaint town. Um, a lot more greenery, um, a lot less organized in terms of uh, the cityscape. And it seems to be um, 
a quiet, pleasant place. Um, in the distance, you see some taller towers. Um, and Serafina points that out as the alchemical library. Um, it's apparently a very um, impressive place. Um, and, I mean, it's if it's an alchemical town uh, where they make potions a lot, it's definitely a hub for people that come to visit. Um, as you ride into town, uh, Serafina waves and she rides through the town um, ahead of you um, and out of sight. Um, you now have... Uh, it's it's morning. You have had you've had the benefits of a long rest, and you have whatever you'd like to do. Is there some kind of like armor smith in town? I can go like buy some armor and get some upgrades. My armor class is so low. yeah. You have pretty solid armor. Do I? Yeah, you had the mithril. You have, you have mithril chain. Yeah, yeah. you're not. Chain. You're not going to be able to afford anything that's better than that. Uh, um, so and I, actually, I can't like go buy like leather pants or something. And no, it's not think, like okay. it's not like in work on like WoW or something like that where you I can see. put on okay. multiple different types of armor and it gives you benefits. Like, okay, never mind then. Yeah, um, I mean, sometimes you can find like bracers that do a certain thing, but they're not going to up your armor class necessarily. I see. It's like magic items. Yeah, magic items are where you're going to be at, and um, at the moment, you probably can't afford that. Um, remember, so, you do have those gems, but they have not been sold yet and not been appraised yet. So the witch told us that the map that we have can be read after someone uses the spell magic on it. Yes. So finding a spellcaster here might be worth our time, too, before we get to... Mm-hmm. All right. Did we throw that map in the bag of holding? No, I have it on me. No, it hasn't. Probably should. Oh yeah, if we're if we're just chilling in town right now, uh Yeah, we just pulled up, bro. You said we just we just pulled up? I think so, we just got here. Yeah, so you but you guys get to kinda Sarah do what you want. No. What was that? Is it is Serafina she just kept going, right? She just kept going, she left you guys behind. Um okay. she said she was riding to Lothlo next. Um and uh if you look at the, the map again it's Lothlo's like southwest of Thera, mm -hmm. um, it's the next town. Gotcha. Um, there's not much between Thera and Lothlo. Gotcha. Well, we've got a couple um, of things the... to do here. What do we want to do first? I'm going to give Terragrim his potion of greater healing back. Oh, huge. Oh, the one from yeah. like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> from the game. Back, but he never really had it. You know, I was just holding on to it. Yeah, he was unconscious at the time. <laughs> That's fair. That's so... fair. I'll, I'll give that back to him. Um, so uh, you don't want to go to armor anymore. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do? Is there uh, anybody who sells like scrolls? Uh, yeah, there's probably like a magic shop that sells scrolls. Are you looking for sh magic scrolls, like with with spells on them? Yeah, like a dispel magic scroll. That would be a good way to find the spell magic. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, you're welcome to see if you could find a, uh, a magic shop in town. Uh, how do you want to go about finding that? Um, I'll look over at Talisha and I'll say, uh, you know, magic's more of your thing. You think you could uh, find a magic shop around here? Or talk to one of these magic folk. Who look like they know what they're doing and get us in a magic shop and maybe we can get a dispel magic scroll in there and crack open this map. Sure. Um I, just roll, I can roll insight, yeah, just to see if I can see it from where I am. Uh yeah, you you roll a probably in that well 
perception or perception or investigation yeah. whichever perception. one you'd like to do okay while he's doing that is there like a place that i can see like a lot of people like you said this is like a smaller place but like is there like a town square or something where people are gathered yeah um as you guys you guys are here probably mid-morning so it's a little bit it's not super busy um right now um but there's this definitely a hubbub kind of nearby as you kind of go through town um there's a little bit more of a town square that you see more people uh the small marketplace and uh um, more folk um definitely more common folk um than have been that you then you've seen in the last two cities um there seems to be a pretty diverse place as well um you see humans uh elves uh dwarves um there's a couple tieflings that you see as well um seems to be a relatively diverse town but... were you looking for, for something in particular with the town square well i can i'll let charlie do his thing first okay um yeah with that perception check uh as you kind of come up to the town square you start looking down streets and uh you spot a sign that um it's got kind of gilded letters on it and uh it got spirals all over the sign and it says uh the bloodstone yeah. <laughs> and you I'm feel like that, that seems magical uh, pointed out to Taladriel and I said, does it seem uh, magical enough for you? Uh, can I put on my glasses and see <laughs> if there's like any magic there? <laughs> you could put on your glasses. I forgot you had those. Sweet. <laughs> Wait, what are they called? It's not on my, uh, oh, there's, uh, I have, yeah. I have minute scene. Yes. And I believe they give you extra. They give me advantage on intelligence investigation checks well i forgot about those yeah, yeah bro. Because you had them originally but you would pawn yeah, them all <laughs> traded well they're like way better for him yeah so, so you can roll investigation to see if you feel like i don't know the it's really good yeah magic shop invest, yeah tragic oh <laughs> all right we're walking we're walking there anyway with advantage yeah, well, <laughs> you turned to uh that's to crazy dude. serious and you say that's magic key enough for me. <laughs> yes, sir. Fuck it, we ball. Let's go see what they got. Yep. Yeah, those glasses yes. probably have like so, super thick lenses too. Um, you start making your way down. Um, uh, you guys are still riding your horses at this point. Um, you guys haven't stopped at an inn yet or anything. Um, but you know it's kind of it's a trot. People are making way for you, but they seem pretty friendly. Um, no one seems to be giving you weird looks or anything like that. Um, as you come up towards the magic, uh, towards the shop, you can, you can definitely start to tell it is a magic shop. There's, um, there's a couple potions in the window, as you'd expect from this kind of town, and there are uh, some weapons as well in the thing. And you do see a couple scrolls as you peek into this into the window of the shop. Um, and uh, as you enter, um, there is a um, young elf uh, girl behind the counter and she's very bubbly she turns to you oh welcome welcome in welcome in welcome to the bloodstone what can uh, I do for you today we are looking for a scroll we have scrolls we have many scrolls what, 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 what specifically are you looking for do you have a scroll of dispel magic hmm let me see she starts poking around and everything, and she pu she comes up with um, a larger scroll um, that's already unfurled and everything. And she starts kind of in investigating it a little bit. Um, you know, it looks like we had one, um, but it was sold last week. Um, I can see if I can get the the wizard on the resident wizard to. Uh, to make you a new one. Who did you sell it to? Oh no, he he's in the shop. He's the owner. Oh, who's that? Who did I sell it to? Yeah, who? who did I, you sell do, it to I don't sports? know. It just said it was it was marked off as sold. Hmm. 
But if you have if you have a, a day or two, I I can I can see if the we can get you one ordered, and uh, you can come and pick it up later. Hmm. How long you think we're gonna be here, serious? Hmm. At least a couple of days till we finish our job. Yes, and if and I can see if you can get it done uh, within a day. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. To how to much? How much are we talking? For the scroll itself. For the scroll, yes. Um, let me see, and she goes back to, um, to her, uh, her ledger, um, and she looks at it and this, well, it looks like it's about, uh, I think it's about 150 gold for a dispel magic scroll. Can we pay half now and half when it's done? Um, let me uh, let me go ask the owner really quick. I think that should be fine. Um, feel free to look around. And she dips into the back um, behind a curtain, um, a uh, curtain doorway, and she slips into the back. We got these gems okay. of praise, bro. Can I? Can I want to? Is there anything expensive in here? First of all, I ain't gonna look around. <laughs> Bro, so yeah, bro, wanna, you should wait wanna, until wanna, after we get our scroll before you do wanna, anything crazy. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I wanna. What, what do I have to make? Wait, wait, wait. What did you? What did you do? What did you do while I was gone? <laughs> I just wanna. I just wanted. I just wanna know what check I have to make to find the expensive stuff in the store. <clears throat> so to you, you don't use a lot of magic. <clears throat> Everything here looks valuable to you. Aside for some, any, like... maybe some, you know, knickknacks that don't seem to have any kind of sheen or to them or anything like that, shine. I think um, the, the better question to ask is, is anything shiny? <laughs> are there any, like, potions? Or is it just, like, scrolls? And... Yeah, there are potions. There's 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 a, a bookshelf that's got a bunch of scrolls um, kind of stacked in there. Um, there's a shelf um, rather full with potions. Um, and this is a potion town. Um, and there's do any of them do any of them have like labels or are they just kind of yeah they're all labeled this is a very this is a much more organized store than the last okay. one you guys visited <laughs> um in uh in that back alley part of Borheim where you found somebody who was not a dwarf selling things um yeah it's much more organized than that it's uh wanna, it's actually very clean um, I, I want to look around for an invisibility potion all right, uh, you may do so. Roll, um, roll investigation. There's, there's quite a bit, few potions. Ooh. Ooh. Um, you start looking through the potions and everything, and um, you come across one um, that does not have a label um, and is empty. Or at least it looks empty to you. Pick wanna, it up. I want to. Yeah. You, you you pick it up. Mm -hmm. I want to pick it up and shake it. Um, you pick it up and shake it, and you, you can't really tell if there's anything in it. Um. But it's it's about as far as you can uh, find one. All right. I'll I'll just put it back down. Um. Yeah. Ooh. We'll, we'll, we'll chill out. We'll see. Um, at this point, she comes back out from the back. And um, she says, um, yes, I just spoke with uh, the owner, and he said that uh, that would be fine. Um, if you had the 75 gold now, we'll t I'll take it now, and I'll take down your name. And, uh, and you were looking for a Dispel Magic scroll, is that correct? Yes. Fantastic, yes. And she pulls out a, a parchment and a quill and some ink and she passes it over to Teledriel. Um, just put your name and everything that you are requesting, um, and I will take the 75 gold. All right. I, I, want, to uh, sign. The, I want to pick up the bottle and ask, uh, is this an invisibility potion, by the way, or is this just empty? 
and she she blushes a little bit and starts giggling. Um, because you, you have no idea how many times I've been asked that question. May I see sure, it? Won't be the last. Um, and she takes it, takes it. She shakes it. This is empty. There's nothing in it. Yeah, common mistake, I'm sure. It's it's. Well, a, why it's why funny. do you, you know, empty bottles on the shelves is weird when a room full of potions. You know, people get confused. You it's get true. You, you're you're very right, sir. Yes. Um, I I do apologize. And she takes the bottle and she puts it behind the counter. I want to ask her, um, are there, are there any, um, but do you have any invisibility potions here? I mean, obviously, you know, certainly there's um, some we can, I can certainly check. Um, and she, uh, you, you didn't see any up front? No, it's kind of hard to see invisibility potions. That's true. Yes. Um, I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll go check in the back and see if we have another one. Um, okay. And she goes back behind the curtain again. All right. I want to roll investigation for some, uh, let me see. What kind of scroll do I want? I want to scroll like a fireball scroll. Something big. Okay, yeah. big go for it. Yeah, look, there's a lot of scrolls, so go for it. Roll your investigation. Okay. That oh, was... there you go. There you go. Um, as you're digging through, um, you you uh, actually find the fireball scroll pretty quickly. Um, and uh, you look at the... Uh, price tag on it. Uh, this is a very organized shop if it has a price tag. Um, and it says uh, 500 gold pieces on it. Yeah, I'm going to steal that bad boy. Okay. Um, I'll have you roll sleight of hand. Um, we'll say she's coming out of the back right as you grab, as you find it. Okay. Um, so just roll sleight of hand. Wait, can I roll with advantage? You said I found it pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, you know what? You, with, your, with your investigation roll, yeah, let's have you roll advantage on the sleight of hand. We're so oh my gosh. No, We're so so <laughs> what so <in> the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. it disappears as fast as if it was covered with an invisibility potion. There it is. Um, as she comes out of the back, I'm so sorry, we don't have any invisibility potions. Um, the the wizard the, the wizard here doesn't stalk them. Um, he finds them to be um, a little bit too dangerous. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Uh, you know, I give her a smile and I say, "Well, thank you for all your help, and we'll be back for the dispel magic later." Fantastic. Yes, of course. Um, who gave her the seventy-five gold pieces? Uh, I did. Okay, cool. So just make sure you re remove that from your yeah, um, inventory. Um. Yes, well, yes, come back tomorrow um, around the same time and we should have it available for you. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, you too. You too. I'll, uh, I'll leave the shop. I follow like. right behind him. Um, is there anything else you guys like to do? Um, I'd like to just find, I, I don't know if I find the same shop or if I, I just like to find like an alchemical apothecary type shop yeah so so what you saw from there their potion their potions in that shop were there was a lot of them but it seemed to be like the smaller part of the shop um you know that this is from what seraphina was telling you that this is a alchemical town uh so there's got to be a better potion shop nearby um so if you want to roll some investigation or perception you are welcome to do so by the way, um, no one in your party saw Sirius grab that scroll either. You saw him ruffling through the scrolls, but no one saw him take it. Bro's about to be devious. <laughs> Yo, real devious stuff is going on. Holy cow, you guys are getting all your good rolls out of the way. This is great. Jeez. Out of the way? Yeah. Uh, we're we're going to roll like so many ones in our next combat. Uh, I know. That's hot dude. streak, hot streak. Two crits in a row, free pyro. Um, yeah, you see, you look down the street and there is a, uh, a lot of these shops kind of are in connected buildings or in smaller, um, buildings with homes on top of them. Um, there is a very large shop and it just says in giant letters across the top, the Vician Potion. And it's it's pretty extravagant um yeah 
that you see that and you know that's got to be a good potion shop. I'll go inside and like walk up to the front if anybody's up there. I want to follow him inside, by the way. Sure. Yeah. I'm like nearby. Um. Yeah. As you guys come up, uh, a couple of you go inside the potion shop, but potions don't interest all of you. Um. So some of you hang out outside. Um. In the potion shop. It's like um. Have you ever been like in like a Bed Bath and Beyond? Where it's just like soaps across every wall and every surface. Mm-hmm. It's exactly what it looks like. It's just potions everywhere. No, no, um, there's, there's bowls of potions. potions. There's like there's like free sample potions for you to taste of like healing. Um, there's like potions that give you like good breath or something. There's potions that give you um, that make you uh, glow a little bit and. Uh, it, there's all kinds of novelty potions here. Um, you walk up to uh, there's a counter towards the back, um, and you you walk up to the worker. Um, it's, a, it's a human uh, man. Um, Hello, uh, welcome to the Vishian Potion. What can what can I do for you? Are you the potion maker here, or do you just sell them? Oh, I I just I'm just the salesman. Um, we we actually get our potions supplied directly from uh, the alchemical school. Um, uh, okay. okay, I just have a potion I need to ask about. Where would you recommend I do that? I do I do know many potions. I do I do sell them for a living. Um, so I, I can <laughs> see it. I can... If you want to take a look at this potion, I think it has like a cat claws part of it oh. or something like that. I have um, no idea what this. Yeah, is. if you remember, the potion has uh, is is murky orange and it's got a. It's got, it looks like a cat claw inside of it. Mm -hmm. um, as you show it to him, um, he glances at it for just a second. Oh, yes. Um, that is a potion of animal speaking. Animal friendship, my bad, sorry. Um, uh, if, if you drink this potion, it's as if you can cast the, uh, the animal friendship spell. Um, or I think I think it's about an hour. Um, judging by that size, yes, about an hour. All right, thank you. I was I was worried this was something dangerous. No, but I will say, don't drink the claw. Okay. Yes, I was just, just going to. Just don't. Yes. And then I'll. So I'll, I just thank him and I'll walk out. Okay. I want to ask um, him if he has any potions of invisibility. Oh, we have many potions of invisibility. Um, what uh, what kind of duration are you looking for? Are you, are you looking for one that will last uh, several minutes, uh, an hour? Or how how long would you like it? Mm, about about an hour. An hour. All right, and he. He goes over to the display, and it's a display filled with empty bottles. And um, as a, at the bottom, there seems to be some like letters that are shimmering, and as he passes by it, they flicker a little bit, and it, you can see the word um, Potion of Invisibility as you pass by it. Uh, all right, well, um, that will be uh, uh, 2,500 gold pieces for this. Okay. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's a that's a crazy price. Well, it's it's a very very rare potion. It's very difficult to make. Um, I'm 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 sorry that uh the kid I I can't convince you. Uh, maybe I'll I'll throw in a potion of greater healing with it. How about that? Nah, two thousand five hundred, boy. No, you out of your mind. Next time you want to rob me. You know what? Just go ahead, get put a dagger to my throat next time you want to rob me like that, and, I, and then I walk out. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Um, he oh, he kind of looks down. Um, you can see as he walks out, he had like a business card in his hand, like he was about to try and sell you something else, and he kind of just tucks it back into his shirt and walks away too. Um, all right. Um, given the time. Um, we're gonna speed things up a little bit. Uh, does anyone else have anything else they want to do in town? I was just gonna ask somebody if they're like where the 
Um, my brain stopped working. What a what a person is that can tell us how much our stuff is worth. Our, our, oh, well, like a like a jam appraiser. Appraiser, or appraiser. There you go. Yeah. My brain. Um, off yeah, right yeah. You ask her. You ask her around a little bit, um, and maybe while they're in the potion shop, and um, someone gives you directions to um, to a, to a local appraiser. Um, and uh, as you go up to the the place, it's it's like a it's like a pawn shop of sorts where there's a lot of different kinds of things. Um, but in the display case in front of at, at the front desk, there are many gems as well. Um, and there's a uh, there's a dwarf sitting at the uh, at the desk there. Well, I kind of need Sirius to be with me. Because he has yeah, the gems. So, okay, well, we'll just say that. Let's say, let's say, let's say I watched this point, him you guys walk came, into the gem appraiser and I followed him. Came it. out, he he was uh, shouting about some um, being robbed, which you guys all thought <laughs> was very funny. Um, and, uh, yeah, you guys all head over to the um, to this pawn shop. Um, it doesn't seem like it has, like, a name. It just says pawn shop over the sign over the front. Um and uh, as you approach uh, the desk, the dwarf does not look up from what he's doing. He's got a jeweler's loop on, and he's looking at a couple of gems in front of him. I'm going to walk in with him as well, just for the record. I just walk up front and put the bag of gems on the on the desk, and I say, uh, I need to get these appraised. Um, it makes a hefty, like, kind of, like, sifting sound. Um like a, like almost like beads kind of like as you as you put it down um and this gets his attention he looks up and he goes and he pulls open the bag slightly and his eyes widen where did you come by these not really any of your business I don't want any trouble with authorities or... You'll find no trouble. Took these from... These weren't stolen. These were given as payment. These were given to us, you just don't need to know why. Legally obtained. Okay. Um... Okay, he believes you. No, it's okay. Give me an hour. Um, and he pulls out a tray and dumps the contents on. And then you guys all see the contents for the first time. It's just this nice array of colors, and they're all gleaming. Um, and he starts to pick through them and start separating them into different piles and um uh he as he does so um you guys can you know wander on the shop or whatever he digs a little while to do so I'm gonna watch him. Yeah, does he does he have anything like interesting in the shop that i might find interesting or is it mostly just like gems and other uh it's, it's a pawn shop so you can find pretty much every anything there's like um some antique furniture there's uh there's used clothing. Um, there's a couple weapons here and there, um, and uh, there's one. There's a big geode, like cut open geode, sitting in the corner too. Um, this looks pretty interesting, I guess. It's not. It's not really a pawn shop. The the nice thing about the pawn shop is the front desk where there's all the gems in the case. Yeah. In case I'll kind of just wander around. While he's uh, um, appraising after, everything, after about an hour, um, he calls you over again, um, and he's got them all separated. Uh, they all neat. <clears throat> you have quite the collection here. Um, all authentic, uh, except for this one. And he picks up uh, what looks like a small looking, looking diamond-like thing. This is just glass. Them. This is just glass. You want to inside check that? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Oh, tragic. 
Um, you're not sure if if he's it's just he's just saying that he does put it down within your guys' reach. Um, uh, but he doesn't. He just said other than that, though, your collection here is worth, I'd say, about three thousand gold pieces. I knew it. Uh, he looks over Flint. <laughs> <laughs> Are you also an appraiser? No, I'm just good with rocks. As are most dwarves. Yeah. But it takes a keen eye to be a good appraiser. Yeah, so I'd say 3,000 is about uh, what I'd buy these for. If you're willing to sell. You said about how much? Three thousand. Three thousand. Uh, Seraphina told you had told you that it was worth about two thousand. I think we can part for it for three thousand. Yeah, that sounds like a deal. Actually, hold on. I want to. I want to keep a a green stone. Okay. Are there any like green gems? Yeah, there's some. There's some. I want. I want to. Is there? Is there any similar to vertite? Like similar in look to vertite? No, vertite is more of like a uh, a solid green kind of got you. rock metal. It's got like some black black tints to it. To it. these are more clear gems. Um, vertite's more of a like a metal uh, alloy than a gem. Okay. I'm gonna pick I up the one. Them. Oh, sorry. I don't know. You could. I was just saying. Yeah, we could just sell them all. Then is. You know, I don't. I don't want to keep any. Uh, do you, pick... Are you picking up the uh, the one he put aside? Yeah, I'm just gonna say I'll just keep this one as a memory of our uh, adventure <laughs> here. Go for it. I don't want it. Does he have the funds to buy our gems? I mean, it sounds like uh, he, he offered to buy them for three thousand. Yeah, yeah, let's sell them. But so, yeah. okay. um, he goes back um, and he he gets a bag um, and uh, he's actually putting in platinum pieces um, which are worth I think they're worth 10 gold each, correct? Not sure. I believe everything is yeah, worth Yeah, 10 gold pieces, yeah, yeah um, 10, the one below. So he fills this bag with um, platinum pieces um, and uh, hands, it off, hands it off to you guys um so there's a, about quick maths. Three hundred. Yes. About three hundred uh, platinum pieces in there. Just keep those in the bag of holding. This is a bit of a party fund. <laughs> the party fund. Yeah. The party fund is real. The treasure is a known thief. This is great. We do know how much is in there, though. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so you do have a, a decent chunk of money now. Actually, uh, actually, now you say that, I'm going to say, how about we give the bag of holding back to our bard? <laughs> Let's go. I am not going to be parting ways with the bag of holding. You're more than welcome to hold I'm going to take it from hold him. Over. You could try. Yeah, I'm gonna take it from him. Yo. You could try. <laughs> In fighting already. Let's go. You wanna take it from him? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab him and I'm gonna take I it. Cut off right as you said you're gonna take it from him. Um what? Okay. <laughs> Are you trying Actually, to like... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab him. I'm just gonna try to grab him. Okay, okay. Um yeah, you both of you roll strength for a uh, contested uh for a grapple check. No way I'm roll strength against this big ass dude. <laughs> I mean, you don't really have a choice. It's either he he's All grabbing right. you. Did I do a, a strength save? That's a strength roll. No, no that was a strength save that you rolled. Oh, that's a save. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, oh, it's just a strength so roll. It's just a strength I, I roll. I rolled. Oh, oh, you could beat that. Oh, where we? Oh, there's a chance. Oh, no. oh, there's a chance. There's a chance. Let's see it. No. <laughs> Oh, dude! <laughs> That's crazy. He I'm just, doesn't even I'm just gonna, try that hard to get from me. While I'm holding um, him, I'm I, just gonna say, Flynn, you can take your bag back. Thanks, man. 
<laughs> Ain't no way. How is he holding my hands? Hold on. I'm going to slide the hands and shit. You're going to have to take it from me. Okay. I'm as literally you, as holding you, bro. To... So he grapples you and he, try, he tears the bag away from you. Um, and you, I will allow you to make the slide of hand check to see if you can grab it back before it ends up in Flint's hands. That's yeah, that's yeah, crazy. Okay, but I'm still holding you. I'll just take it. What? You can try too. This is not sleight of hand. I'm forcing it. There's <laughs> no, nothing stealthy about this, bro. Bag. I'm literally grabbing your wrist and twisting that thing like hello. <laughs> um, and at this point, because you guys haven't left the shop yet. Yeah, yeah um, we're cleared. The guy's watching us. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, does anyone want to make a perception check? Anyone that's not serious or con, make a perception check. I'll make a perception check. I'm not. I'm not even in the building, so. Yeah, there you oh, go. That's. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're you're too distracted by this. Um. However, um, is the lead drill that you're not in the building? I'm not in the building. No. Um. If you see uh someone run out and run up to um what looks like a guard. Um and starts pointing towards the shop. Um, I go up, like, near the shop, and I look through the window to see what's going on. And you see the struggle that's going on. They're all fighting over the bag. Yeah. Or, or, I mean, uh, Khan and Sirius are fighting over the bag. One of them is tearing it away with force. The other one's, like, slipping it out of his hands. Um, and it's just back and forth. That's when the um, rips and we don't and have a bag Flint is standing there <laughs> scratching his head. Um, Terragrim is shaking his head. Um, yeah, what do you do? <laughs> um, I go up to the person that's talking to the guard and be like, are you talking, are you here about the guys inside? Oh, yeah, yes, yeah, I am. It's a, it's a woman that's, that's talking to the guard. Uh, they're fighting over that. I mean, they just, uh, they, I saw the... The owner gave him a large bag, and I think it's full of money, and, and they're not fighting over it. I don't know. And she looks at the guard, and the guard nods, and he looks like he's about to to walk off. I just tell her that uh, it's my party, and they're just horsing around over over a different type of bag. Roll persuasion. Or deception. Up to you. By the way, it uh, doesn't matter. I don't have frequency in either. Oh, magic. Um, the guard does not look convinced. That looks like it's something I need to deal with. And instead of walking off, he actually starts walking towards the, um, towards the shop. I just follow right behind him. Okay. Um. Okay. Can I? Can I do something? Yes. What would you like to do? Uh, while. Sirius and Khan are having this little scuffle. I know that Khan wants the bag to end up with me again. So okay. I recently learned a spell called uh, Mage Hand. Oh. I would like yes. to cast Mage Hand over by Khan and Sirius and then roll Sleight of Hand to take it off Sirius while they are like re wrestling. You may do so, yes. Um, and even though it has a verbal component to it, they're so busy, they don't notice that it's happening. Okay. So you cast the, our mage hand over there. Yes. And we roll... Okay, now roll your, roll your sleight of hand. Oh! <laughs> you ain't stealing <laughs> shit. No! As they're no! fighting over it, um, Khan's, got it, Khan's got one string in one hand. Um... Sirius has got um, another part of the string in the other hand, and Flint's mage hand kind of gingerly puts itself over the top and just kind of sets there. Um, Gosh dang it. And for a moment, everyone stops. And just <laughs> looks down at this glowing purple hand that's not attached to anything, just sitting there. And it's kind of tapping it lightly. It's not even trying to take it at this point. It's just... I'm, caressing the I'm bag. I'm sitting off in the corner like, why won't this stupid hand work? You're like, 
to fucking laugh. <laughs> Eventually, the hand just fizzles out. Yeah. Um. All right. At this point, I say, "All right, okay. Let me go, and I'll give him the bag. Get your hands off of me." Uh, me the reason I don't want you to have the bag is because I don't know if I trust you yet. Yeah, that that you know what, and that's fair. I can understand where that lack of trust comes from. So let's give him no, the let, bag, let, and I'll let you yeah, go. Yeah, let, no, let me go first. Let's build some trust here. Let me go, and I'll give him the bag. You don't let me go, we go fight over this thing till we fucking die. Let me go. The guard steps into the um the shop at this point and looks looks around for this Yo. this struggle. I want to I wanna cast this and slam the door in his face. Tell him, knock it off. <laughs> We're doing stuff. You can do so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so much better than what I had planned. This is so good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so th- that just happens. Yeah, the door slams in his yeah. face as he's... No, look back at Khan. And I'm like, all right, look. See, this guard's coming. Let me go. Let me go. You, I'll give him the bag. Send this. Um, what do you do? I say my trust is writing on this, and I let him go. Okay. Serious? What do you do? I take the bag. I, I, uh, I get my I get my stuff out of it, and I walk over to to Flint, and I put the bag in his hands, and I say, "Here you go." I look over at Khan and I give him a smile. I say, see, it wasn't so hard. And I'll just, I'll just nod, <laughs> like a, like a nod of a, like what am I thinking? Like approval? Not approval, but like acceptance. Like, I guess it, like, you're kind of conceding at this point. You're like, okay, all right. Yeah, like good enough for now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, the Come guard on. opens the door that was slammed in his face. Wait, can I um, ask this again and open the door? And he looks. He <laughs> can he do that? Wait, can he not open the door? No, you can't. Yeah, it's just he, it just slams. Wait, wait, can can I open it myself? I want to open it myself. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you can open the door. Yeah. Yeah, I want to open up the door and be like, "Damn, this one is crazy in here." <laughs> Man, that was wild. Did you guys feel that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even have your old deception because he's just like standing there, like, "What's going on?" <laughs> Um, we all and, we all give him just a little smile, like, "What? Why? Why are you here, bro?" I'll, I'll say, "How do you do today, sir?" <laughs> <laughs> and he just uh, he he steps back and lets you guys pass. Let's go, <laughs> huge. <laughs> Let's go. And he looks wow. at Fleedrill, who has walked over with him too. That lady was crazy, right? Yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> And the lady who's standing nearby huffs and walks off. <laughs> um, What's a Karen called in this world? Flint. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> <laughs> <Yo. crazy>. yeah. <laughs> I had to do it. No, dude, that's wild. Oh no. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh that all happened. Um you know how our 3000 gold pieces richer um as a party. As a party. It's in the bag of holding though, yeah? Yes, it is. Well, then you well, may check. I no, say, I, well, I took out my share. I, I, I want to take out my share. Okay, what is exactly your share though? Two forty is less. Well, see, I I took That's out six hundred. Yeah, you took out six hundred. Would be easier. okay. So there's twenty. Six hundred is there's one fifty. I took out six hundred. All right, I took. Oh out yeah, you took out sixty plat- platinum pieces. So there's twenty four hundred pieces left in the bag. Mm-hmm. Okay. Twenty four more platinum pieces or two forty. Yeah, two forty. Two hundred forty platinum pieces. Two hundred forty. Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Under, so like under PP, yeah, not GP. Well, you took out sixty. 60 then, yeah. You can either put six hundred GP or or sixty PP. Uh, it's, uh, up it's, to, it's up to you. If you want to say PP, you can do that. But you, it's up to you if you want to do that. Can we stop? Yeah, no, I'm not. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Can you not be a child? <laughs> Thoughts? <laughs> All right. Um, it's sunset at this point. Uh, you guys have. Uh, 
you have your horses nearby, and that's about all you got right now. Okay. Do we do we want to go crash for the night? Yeah. I can go. I can go like play some music at an inn. Get you know get the crowd going. Get us some free boarding. You know. Sure. Sure. All right, well, well, that works. So you guys, uh, you guys find an inn, um, pretty easily. Um, it's actually pretty busy in the inn. Um, everyone's kind of talking and laughing, and people are eating and drinking. And um, there is a stage this time. It is not a boxing ring. Let's go. Yeah, I'll walk uh, up to the bartender and just be like, "Hey, man. Uh, look, I got me and my party here. I- I'm sure you may you may have heard of us, TBC. I don't know. Uh, word may have spread around." But if not, allow me to introduce the group by uh, presenting our our tales through song in your uh, in your inn, and uh, it'll it'll get it'll get everybody riled, and uh, they'll all get another round. Um, the it, the bartender is kind of a, a rugged looking guy. Um, he says, "Well, I mean, my my entertainment canceled tonight, so uh, um, he was yeah he uh, drowned in the bog. So I whip out I my viol and I'm like, well, that works out perfectly.' And I stride up on stage and immediately begin to woo. All right, you have the a crowd. you have a viola. Yeah, I have a viola flute and bagpipes. You know that I used to play viola. Like actually." Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> that is actually the, the greatest tidbit of information. What the? <laughs> yeah. I did not know new, that. New actually. Gavin Lord. Just I know. Yeah, yeah, Gavin great. Lord dropped, and whoa. Is it Con Lord too? Con used to play the viola. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> Definitely not. Maybe the drill. Right, roll, roll your performance. Do I, um, wait, and I'll hold give on. you. Do I, do I get to roll with advantage? Because I'm. I will give you advantage because that was a great um, that was a great pitch. I think I like the pitch. Thank you. So. Thank you. Yeah, we needed the advantage. We're up. Yes, let's go. Um, as you get up and you start, um, you're using. Are you using the viola? Is that what you're using today? Yeah. Okay. Um, you start playing the viola, and it starts off quiet as you begin the tale. Um, and as you get towards the more exciting parts of it, it's almost like you're playing a fiddle. Um, and people are clapping and cheering and everything, and um, more people get up and go to the bar. Um. And the bartender looks at you, and he's he's giving you two thumbs up. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> um, and uh, and yeah, even your even uh, TBC is looking impressed as the bartender comes over and gives free drinks to TBC. Let's go. Um, Let's go. Uh, well, uh, TBC moment tells TBC the tale moment. of uh, of defeating the the. Uh... Oh shit! What did you guys find last time? It was a spore mound. No, it was a. Just say uh, we shambling the, witch. the shambling mound. Uh, shambling. Yeah. I tell the story of uh, not necessarily, you know, giving my group's secrets out to the crowd, but how we we wooed the witch with uh, with our tales and were able. Nice. To... Yes. Yeah, and um, you guys end up with free board um, as well. You get free rooms for the night. Dude. We're up. Um, and I the bartender comes up to you and says, "That was great. If you've got another one, we'd love to hear it tomorrow." Alrighty, yeah, of course I'd be down. Um, and you guys, uh, you guys are holed up for the night then. Let's go. Uh, this music's a little too exciting. I was just thinking yeah. to say that this is kind of intense. <laughs> We're held up for the night. As I did, what's about to happen? <laughs> uh, like, night. Oh, there you go. I got back to for to death roll. Big. Let's go, dude. Um, the theme song of TBC. Dude, this the, is theme, actually... the theme song, yes. Um. Yeah, and um, as you guys kind of uh, wind down for the night, is there anything that you guys would like to do individually or together? Um, where are we? <laughs> I... Are we at, like in separate rooms, or are we still like at the bar? No, you guys get separate rooms. Like, yeah, no, he, like I got he us, yeah. puts you in like some nice looking rooms too. Like. It, it seems like they had a really good time. Nothing I need to do before the night show. Uh, okay. Actually, is there like a tailor in town or something that I can run to real quick? Uh, it's oh, it's closed at this point. It's Nothing's closed? really okay. opened. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's 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 nighttime now. Okay. But you're welcome to do that tomorrow. Okay. Um, 
Uh, Khan, did you say you had something to do? No, I don't have anything. Oh, okay. Going to bed. Okay. Um, you guys go to bed and get a long rest. Um, very comfy beds. Um, and uh, lots of space, and uh, you're able to clean up a little bit from the bog um, as well, uh, the marshes. And uh, you wake up the next morning, and um, it's a new day. Yeah, you have a you have a heist to plan. Um, as you come down, um, can I TBC can I, can I get up a little bit earlier than the rest of the group? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna. Well, you mean you wake up early? I don't know if you you or, don't really know if anyone. Else yeah, yeah. I wake up early and bolt straight over to like a tailor or something. Sure. Yeah, you find one that's open, um, and they're a little surprised that somebody's here this early. Um, but they look at you, and or, or one of the workers that's there, um, she's she's sewing, and she looks up and she says, "Weren't you the entertainer from at, at the inn last night?" I I was. Thank you for for yes. noticing. Yes. Yes. TPC. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's correct. What does TPC stand for? Uh, to be continued, meaning you know, we're gonna Ooh, you know, mysterious. Yeah, we're going to show the world what we're capable of. Yet, very interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, I'm looking to purchase a top hat. Top hat. <laughs> um, we have one. It has been sitting on this shelf for many years. No one wants it. So, um, I'll sell it to you for um. Uh, a gold <laughs> honestly <laughs> okay she picks up the pad and she dusts it off there's like a thick layer of dust on it uh, uh yeah yeah uh, just a gold yeah. Bing. Oh, yeah i flick it with my thumb onto the counter grab the top hat and i just salute and say thank you very much you're welcome have a wonderful day uh, tell more tales I i'll be there tonight okay yeah we'll, we'll hope, hope to see you around All right, you are now the proud owner of a top hat. Let's go. Um, which I hope you store in the bag of holding. Yeah. And not on your head. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I I didn't buy the hat to wear. Interesting. Oh. Okay. Um, when you get back to the inn, everyone else at this point has probably woken up and gone downstairs. They're all kind of eating breakfast. Um. Uh, in the inn. Uh, as you get there. Okay. I walked in, sit down, and... Hey, guys, look at this new hat that I acquired. I pull it out of the bag of holding, show everybody. No? No comments? It's okay. I wasn't going to wear it. So don't worry. You guys don't need to panic. Listen, don't want a hat that you're not going to wear. You're going to be my friend, isn't it? <laughs> about your top hat? <laughs> Um, Terragrim, you've never seen a top hat before. <laughs> you have no clue what the heck that is, but it is, it is ugly to you. <laughs> what? Uh, that's messed up. Actually, Sirius may be the only person that I've seen, I've seen a top hat before. I don't think top hats are very prevalent in Great Wood um, or in the wilderness. For <laughs> yeah, I, I have never seen such a hat. Yeah. Uh, At one time, it was the height of fashion. Uh, you know what? It suits you well. You know, it, it looks just about as dumb as you. So oh, <laughs> it's a great choice. I'm lucky. Great. I, yeah, I, I can uh, agree. I can agree with that. Okay. Look, you know, I'm sorry if you guys woke up on the wrong side of your si of your individual room with your own bed this morning. My bad. I have, I have a question. Does the top hat look like unreasonably large and tall for his small size? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the real it's question. definitely made for a taller person. Oh. Um, How much height so does it, it add to me, though? It, when he... No! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> we'll never know. That's crazy. He puts you it down in front of him. Hat. Usually, when you put down like a top hat in front of you, you expect. Man. Oh. Uh, yeah, you, you cut out oh. a little bit. <laughs> I was going into the. I just went into this big long explanation, oh. and I looked at the, and oh. I said, <laughs> oh so, "Usually, when you have a top hat, you you put it down in front of you, you can kind of see it's like, you know, maybe 
chest level with you. This top hat um, is stands like as tall as his head to him as he sits down. Um, is this so. like a four foot tall top hat? No, you're sitting down, so oh, it's like a. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. It just you're sitting shorter than uh, some of the other ones, so it's looking taller. It's okay. We're gonna <laughs> need, we're gonna need a deep top hat. Um, it definitely still has a little bit of what? dust on it as well. Uh, the lady did not do a very good job of dusting it off. Do I want to know why you need a deep top hat? Don't worry. What's about going it. on here? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'm a little concerned, top hat. honestly. Refuses to explain. <laughs> She says, mm, yes, the deeper the better. <laughs> Puts it in the bag of holding. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. We still talking about top hats? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you talking about top hats? What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I put the, put, the, put the top hat away. Stop getting distracted by my beautiful top hat. Let's talk about this heist. What are we doing? We? I mean, we haven't even seen the building really you've seen it from afar should we go do some some scouting like maybe could we could we go inside and attempt to procure procure some information or maybe act as though we were there to i don't know do they sell potions there like can we attempt to go and pretend to be customers yeah we should go as the potion safety committee (laughs) that's a great idea that is a phenomenal yeah. idea, actually. Um, you guys do recall that that Serafina said it was a library, um, and uh, from the your library, libraries, um, it's not hard to get into them. Sorry, I. It's, um, I oh, the only thing I could remember from the explanation was was uh, alchemy. That was it. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it's so a library. We just... All right. Just well then, out a little bit first. To lead real, this seems to be more uh, your area of expertise then. Do you what, know much about potions? I don't believe I'm. I believe I'm not proficient. You're not proficient um, in potions, or he, you look at Slidro and he kind of shrugs, like. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well. And she didn't even explain what this potion did, did she? No, she just said she it's a potion. She said it was the. It was a potion recipe. For the, a potion of destiny is what she said. Potion recipe. What does a potion of destiny do? Downloads destiny on your PC. Unlucky. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's like those um. Creates a titan for you. Yeah. Grand titan unlucky. Sorry, someone asked a question. No, we were just this being just stupid. Being stupid. Okay, no, sorry. Um, yeah, you, she didn't. She didn't explain much. Uh, you guys didn't really ask that many questions about it. Uh, you had more questions about the stone tablet. Um, Indeed, we did. Um, but I you do know it's not a potion itself you're looking for, which is, in some ways, helpful because you don't have to look for. You know, a, something that. You're not sure what it looks like. Um, she said it was like going to be under lock and key, though, right? He said there's a uh, wall yeah, under, like at the bottom that has wall. all his like important stuff. Um. So yeah, what would you guys uh, what would you guys like to do? I say we take a trip to the library. Nerds. All right. Um, the way this is gonna work is um. We're going to go to the library. Um, I will have you guys. Um, when we get into the library, I'll have you guys roll initiative. Whoa. Um, and we're going to treat it like combat. It's not going to be actual oh, combat. You're not going to oh. be fighting anybody. Um, unless you choose to for some reason. He's um, answering turn based mode. It's a turn based like mode. investigation. Um, Part of it's because I don't want you guys rushing off and just kind of, you know, roaming the map as you want. Um, I want you guys to be intentional about, like, what you're doing. So you guys will get um, one action a turn as normal. Um, And an action can be a check or 
um, you want to steal a library book or whatever it is. Um, does that make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So we're going to go to the alchemical library. And I'll turn on turn order for you guys. Is that well initiative? Oh, hey. Dang. Okay, now we are fighting somebody. I can't <laughs> wait to start. Of, of course oh, I am. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's two net 20s. That's of course a the one good roll I do is not in combat. Bro, I'll take a I'll take a low initiative in the library and high initiative in every combat. I'll that's take it. very <laughs> fair. Um, no, plus, a plus four to initiative is crazy, though. A two plus four initiative is gross. Is kind of insane. Sometimes... Okay. There's a there's a rogue feature too that allows you to add like your like charisma modifier to your rolls as well, your initiative rolls. It's it's kind of disgusting. Um all right, yeah. So um we are now in the library. Um and uh Sirius, you may go first. Uh we'll treat movement like mo regular movement too, so um Okay. So is this uh is this up here the the entrance of Oh no, we're down here. I see it now. Yeah. Um, it, I mean, this is part of the library. As you've come in, you've, you've kind of navigated through some different shelves and stuff like that, but they've ended up kind of towards the back of the library where there's a little bit less people. Um, mm -hmm. There's an occasional person that comes and goes here, but it doesn't seem that there's many in this section. Okay. So, you know, are these, like, things right here just like decorations they're like lanterns that are hanging from the okay. ceiling sorry i can't like it's hard to do top down but no you're good just making sure it wasn't something we found okay yeah just like roll like a, just like a general like investigation check i guess yeah sure um yeah what are you looking for specifically though i will ask that um i'm not even sure what i'm looking <laughs> uh, are these like oh, are these like guards up here? Uh, yeah. At this point, you probably can't see them. Um, Khan, I think, is probably the only person that can from his vantage point. Okay. Okay. Actually, you know, I want to look for a dispel magic book if we can. To see if okay. we can find one. Yeah, you can roll you can roll investigation on uh for that for a book of spells. Um you looking in they're all potion books. Everything's about potions, everything's about brewing, everything's about something. You can find a book about actual brewing, like there's a book about beer here. <laughs> um and you kind of get distracted looking at that. Uh Terrigram, your turn. Um is this left side? Is this a wall? Yeah, that's a wall there. Yeah. Okay, I'll um, and I'll take a dash action and run it in a library. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> and then from here, can I just like look around, see if I see anything that looks like it leads to a different floor? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll let you do that. Just a quick perception check, yeah. Just because it's a simple one. Um, from what you can tell, it's it seems to be the only floor around here. There's no stairs in this area. No. But you're not entirely sure. You just ran in a library and you're kind of out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> Are you struggling? Um, to lead your Alright. Can I put on my glasses and look for magic books? Uh, yes, you may. Alright. Where is this? Uh, are you looking for something specific or just magic books in general? Just magic book in general. Okay. Holy cow. Um, the section that Sirius was in um, was obviously not the section he should have been looking in. Um, because to lead your role, you find um, you find one magic book in particular. And it happens to be um, 
it happens to be a book about necromancy. Um, it's it's filed next to another book about um, necromantic potions. Okay. Um, and uh, as you as you flip through the book of the magic book, um, you see some of the familiar spells that you um, learned uh, back in the Great Wood with your okay. friend. Um, it's it's pretty it's a pretty interesting book, and as as you get towards the back, there's stuff that you don't know that you have never learned before. Okay, sounds good. Alrighty. Flint. Um yeah, let's let's just go straight over here to this little stack of books. Okay. And do a little investigation. Okay, what are you looking for? I am looking for um, a book on uh, like like a how to get rich quickly. All right. Yes, you may. You can. Yeah. Go for it. Um, <laughs> you find this book and it's got kind of gold, like glittery cover. Uh, it's got no title on the front. And as you open it up, um, it's got potions and it said it's got big, like, like extra drawings in the po around the potions that make it look like a big bam symbol. And mm -hmm. um, and it's got you know potion of riches, potion of uh, invincibility, um, potion of of um, greater godliness and such. Okay. Greater godliness. That's kind of wild. Okay. Yeah. As you as you're looking at it, you realize that this is like a book of satire. I see. <laughs> Does he realize that? I think he should make an intelligence check. <laughs> you, you can go for that. You can go for, you know, make an intelligence check just to see. <laughs> Yo, Flint's about to become a crypto bro. Hold on. This is a very compelling book to you. <laughs> 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 um you feel this you is feel the guy like who has their bag this is this is it this is exactly what you're looking for actually oh no <laughs> uh come on you may go you said i can see like all this stuff in front of me right yeah so from your vantage point you can actually see the doors and you can see there's some people well, that, standing that on doors right there them. then yeah you can see there's some people hanging on either side of them um there's actually no books in the hall that you're standing in. It's more like tables, and there's people's got you know notes and book open books on them. Yeah, put the barbarian in the aisle with no books, man. That was a, a complete mistake. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna. I mean, it was planned. Move here. Okay. And. I'm going to ask, I'm going to call to the guards, and I'm okay. going to ask them, so I'm going to say that I heard that there's like a master apothecary or something here, and I was wondering if there's any chance that somebody could get in to talk to him. Um, Or her, I guess. The guards kind of like peek around the corner of the bookshelves, just look down at this guy who's kind of yelling at them, and they yell back, "Look, we're 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 just here on a post. We don't want anything." Well, I, I don't mean like you need to like go do it now. I was just curious if that was a possibility. You'll have to go ask someone else. Wait. Um. Yeah, they kind of shut you down a little bit. Yeah. I'm serious. You may go. Um, can I roll investigation to see if there's anything mentioning like, like a destiny potion in this? In the yeah. Island? Yeah, you can. Yeah. A 
that's pretty good um you're looking through these books now and trying to find a little bit more information about this potion of destiny that was mentioned um and uh, you come across a book uh, it seems to be like an autobiography um and uh, it catches your eye because the title is talks of destiny um and it has a, a name on the front and it says uh his name is as Quintorius Land. Um, and there's a picture of him inside, and it's got this older-looking um, human male uh, who uh, is very much into inventing potions. Um, and uh, it's, this autobiography, I mean, it's it's like like many autobiographies. It's, it's very flattering of himself. Um, but he doesn't seem to be uh, a potion master uh, in terms of rank of any kind. He seems to be just a potion enthusiast um, talking about things. Um, you don't get far enough in this book at this point to find anything about the Potion of Destiny, but it seems promising, at least. Okay. I'll just hold on to it, I guess, until my okay. next turn. Telegram. Um, am I close enough to the guard that it wouldn't be like that I can have like a talking conversation and not have to like shout? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You're, I mean, you're kind of probably possibly like browsing the book still a little bit as you kind of look towards the guard. Yeah, I'll just hey, uh, what's what's back there? Is there more books back there? Um, the guard. Let's see. Uh, I, I believe so, yes. Am I allowed to go back there? No. Oh, okay. And then I'll just uh, stay where I'm at, I guess, because I don't have anything else to do. Um, you're close enough to the guards to see that, like, their armor and being a, being a, a rather heavily armored dwarf yourself, you, you recognize these guys are wearing some pretty heavy armor. In fact, um, yeah, they're wearing pretty heavy armor. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Alright. Um, to lead you. Alright. Is there a librarian in here? Oh, uh, sure. You find, you see down the hall, um, putting some books away, um, near that pile of books, uh, right here. Um, yeah, this is somebody, uh, this is a shorter, um, she looks like a, maybe, maybe a halfling. She's got a little step stool that she's using. Um, to climb up to the next shelf to put the books away. I asked her if, uh, if they offered to sell books from the library. Um, I, I think I think they do sometimes. Um, you'd have to ask up front though. Um, what book are you looking to buy? If it's if it's an alchemical book, it usually stays. We try and keep a record of every alchemical book ever printed. Oh no, this is just a book of necromancy. Ew. And she kind of gives you a little bit of a disgusted look. Uh, academic research? Yes, academic research. Are, are you... Quick question out of game. Are you lying? Yes and no? Yes and no? I'll still have you roll deception. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, she she says, yeah, I'm sure that uh, someone up front will sell them sell the youth that book, um, especially if it's not about alchemy. Okay, thank you very much. Flint, uh, you are enthralled by this book. What would you like to do next? I'm gonna sprint down the aisle. Okay, so you can go your double double distance. Uh, just because I want to get over to uh, Derigrim and. <clears throat> one of the things that I read in this book is about the uh, the th this uh, uh, method uh, of gaining wealth where you sell potions to people and, and, but you have to get people like on, on your team to help you sell potions and then they have to help people get them on their team 
to help yourself. It's like pretend no pyramid scheme. Holy! As you're running down the hall, the guard kind of tenses up a little bit, looks over at you, and then you start waving this golden book and poking Terrigram and t- talking about this MLM. <laughs> this, this potion MLM. Terrigram, listen, listen. This is our way out of here. We don't need to take missions from M anymore. If you just look, I'll get you on my first row of of, of potion sellers, okay? And then I'll, you know what? I'll just get the whole party on my first row of potion sellers, and you guys can get your families to be under you guys, and then you guys will will earn commission based off of the potions that you sell. And and I just kind of drone on and on about like how like this whole process is supposed to work as I'm pitching this idea, Terror. While, while enthusiastically explaining it's not a pyramid scheme. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, definitely not a pyramid scheme. <laughs> it's not a pyramid scheme. It's multi-level marketing. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Mid, I will say... have you roll persuasion. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> yes. Wait, can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 Um, sorry, I have, I have family in town, so like everyone's yeah. using the Wi-Fi. Oh, you're good. Um, you're good. You mean a roll you, what, are you, what do you say, Terrigram? Terrigram, what do you say? I was just going to say I I think that I have no experience in potion making. I'm confused. <laughs> well, uh, um, see, listen, you don't you don't need to make the potions, okay? What it says here is is that we just get a master alchemist to make. See see this recipe here. I don't I don't really understand a lot about potion making either. But this re- this potion specifically is a a greater god potion, which I mean. I don't know about you, but that sounds really insane. And look, a- as a member of the clergy, this would help you get closer to deity, no? And, I have and... no interest in being closer to deity in that sense. I I get closer to deities through prayer. Okay, I will have... You definitely shoot down that part of his argument, but Flint, please roll persuasion for your MLM pitch. That's not bad. Um, roll like an intelligence check to see if I'm smart enough to realize. Yes, yes. <laughs> and if it's if it's below fourteen, fourteen is the DC. If it's below fourteen, you're interested. All right. <laughs> Please. No. Oh, no. No. There's no way. Oh, He's just barely smart. <laughs> I don't. I don't think this is a good idea, Flint. <laughs> Beautiful. That was an amazing turn, Flint. I. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got pyramid skis going on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Con, you may take your turn now. I'm just gonna kind of look around at these tables and do I like see anything interesting or useful on them? Uh, yeah, you can. Just like people's. Yeah, you don't have to roll for that. It's just, I mean, they just there's papers, there's scribbles on them. A lot of them. It seems that these these alchemists are pretty. You know, furtive. They don't really um, slow down for much. Um, they're always scribbling things. They've got notes and notes that are overlapping with other notes. Um, and uh, you you see one um, that has uh, one piece of paper has um, lots of notes, and it says you know some. It's got some like library book names and such, um, and. It has one name at the bottom with a question mark that says Quintorius Land question mark. Uh-huh. I'll just spell it out to you. And... Um, That's all I can do, right? Yeah. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll move you to the, where it was. It was over here. Um, okay. Uh, serious. How about that? we'll say that this is going to be our final round uh, before we are um, we end for the night. Um, this is just your kind of reconnaissance mission portion of this. Um, we are, we'll obviously don't have time to get into the vault tonight. So um, what we learned here um, during this final round and what you've learned. Otherwise, um, will help you, or may or may not help you, uh, get into the vaults next time. 
Um, so, Sirius, it is your turn. Okay. Um... I want to I want to ask this guard what's what's behind the door. Um and the guard looks at, looks at you it's uh it's the vault it's the uh, the arch um alchemist the arch apothecary sorry. He uh he keeps a lot of things in the vault. Um there's special books back there, uh, potions, um recipes, that sort of thing. Um I was just looking for another section in the library. I wasn't uh, trying to stumble upon a vault or anything. So, mm, yeah, yeah. Um, roll deception on that last bit, I guess. <laughs> oh, guard looks at you funny. Stumble on the vault, I. You, I mean, it's not no stumble upon a vault. You know, it's pretty know famous. I mean, it's it's. I'm sure that's why you're here. Yeah. No, Let me tell you, I you're not visit. getting in. You're not getting past us. Oh no, I was, you know, I wasn't in the plan. I'm just here visiting a friend. You know, he he's more of a book guy than me. I don't really know what I'm doing here, as you can mm -hmm. probably and, tell. And I'm yet you're looking for it. another section. Are you looking for something that doesn't have books in a library? No, I'm looking for a book for my friend. I haven't oh. seen it back there. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, that, nothing back there you'll be able to see. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, you have a good day. Starts climbing up bookshelves. <laughs> Daregrim, here you go. I'd like to move back into this aisle a bit and see if I can find any books on potion making specifically like healing potions okay yeah uh yeah roll investigation um i i have one question if i cast a spell will i still be able to look around for the things or no um i will if as long as the spell is relevant to your to what I you're doing cast an enhance ability on intelligence sure yeah uh yeah i can yeah, i'll love that so that just so that I have advantage on the roll of investigation. I believe it's how it works. Let me look. Um, yeah, you're able to find a book of, of about healing potions. Um, it's a pretty generic book. Um, it's got a lot of the things that you you recognize a lot of different potions in there. Healing, greater healing, lesser healing, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. As you ruffle through it, it doesn't seem to be uh, too much new information other than maybe some recipes that you never, didn't know how to use before. Okay, so would I potentially in the future be able to make healing potions, like basic ones? Um, Let's have, in addition to that, let's see. I'll have you roll a generic intelligence check then. And you do have enhanced ability still. Um, to see if you understand how to use the healing potion. And then I will, if you do, I will send you a recipe for a healing potion. With the double 18s, you definitely understand the, what's required for it. So um, in your DMs later, I will send you a recipe for a um, potion of healing. Just like that, he slid into your DMs. <laughs> there you go. The, D the DMs, letting it into DMs. Um, Please, real. Uh, your turn. All right. Can I go up to the whatever wherever the desk is at the front and ask to buy this book? Yeah, sure. So you actually will leave this area entirely. Um, and uh, yeah, you go up to uh, buy that book, and uh, they look, take a look at it, they flip through it, and they kind of they kind of grill you the same way the other the other librarian did about is this for academic purposes and such and. Um, we'll count your your previous roles as such, um, and uh, um, yeah, they they tell it to you for a gold piece. Wait. Uh, Flit, your turn. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, as you come up there, they... Uh... Oh, sorry, did you have something else to add to that? Um, uh, roll perception for me. Uh, you hear and see uh, several people behind this person. The person that you're talking to is keeping a pretty straight face, but several of the other librarians and workers there are starting to laugh a little bit, like under their breath. Um, and person there says uh fantastic um, Welcome. if you lose it it's all right <laughs> yes and we will probably not stock it again so you are a lucky man She shakes her head. No, it's all right. You can bring it back when you want to. Okay. Oh, there's no title on it. It's just gold. It's just made. It's just gold. It's like it's glittery. Um. All right, Con. You will make your uh, last turn. Then then we'll wrap up. Uh. Yo, hey, I don't have what's up? Else to do. What's up? Hush, Nothing else? We're getting ready to wrap no. up our, our I'm not, session here. Con's soon, not very comfortable in the library that's setting. Uh, okay, that's the fair. Stream's gonna continue. Um, really yeah, happens. you you have any idea you, what's you, going on? You just uh, you leave. Um, then in that case, since you don't want to take that turn or, or do anything, does anyone else? Uh, well, Sirius or Terrigrim, the people that are left in the library. Um, do, is there any final thing you want to do? Is it your first time I playing? Would just... Would so if, the book tomorrow of, is like, the your first time playing? Stuff have mentioned like where you can I, find I, some of the components. Okay, I would just say, um, it didn't really talk about that. If it's, you have it's, an idea. I mean, it may say Here, me... some of the components are you know, found in this area. If you have an idea, just go for it. Just ask whoever's um, you, uh, dungeon mastering for you guys. Just just ask him if you can do something. A place that either just, sells it or be able to just throw them. it out there, have fun with it. That there was I've come up with like a billion as well. random dumb um, ideas. Like you, you so probably just got here to the stream, but I, I literally picked up a book in this so library that we're at, any last things? Okay. trying to like learn more about how to like make money, and yeah, uh, I steal the book that I, uh, I. Got. Okay. In this book, um, I learned you, about uh, I, I <laughs> MLMs, way, are you to and I just tried to pitch like a pyramid scheme to my okay, party. So, <laughs> so just just have fun with it. Just relax, it. have fun. I, I still to this day don't really know what I'm doing. Well, roll your stealth. Yeah, perfect. And yeah, so you like it's slip behind. It's just been fun. Um, it's been it's been really fun. Like Tabletop RPGs allow for a lot of custom customization you, and, um, and stuff like that. It, it it's a blast. Just have fun. Ask your DM if you can do it. If they say no, then whatever. But just just. There's no harm in asking. Just yeah. have fun with it. You're able to slip it right in your bag. No one's the wiser. You have now successfully stolen from two libraries in this world. Yes, sir. There's no libraries. That was a menace. No <laughs> library is safe, bro. Dude, I can't believe Um, The library is safe from Sirius. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, there shouldn't be a too big of a mission mission difference. For you. Doing it IRL actually sounds... Honestly, more engaging and, and uh, fun, to be honest with you. Uh, so, um, IRL would be really fun. I just, Me and all my friends, we just live in different states. Come back so next week. It is what it is, but IRL up, actually um, sounds more interesting end. and fun. You guys will have returned to the end with your findings, um, and uh, we'll be sharing those. They'll be sharing, you know. The, it'll be part of our review is sharing um, that stuff. And, uh, yeah, so just write down what you found, if you found anything. Question: um, What? Yes. How many of my party members overheard my pitch to Terragram? We were kind of on one side of the of the library. Um, only person that could have heard that would be Khan. Is Khan smart enough? Khan, what's your passive perception? 
It's not that he's smart enough. It's whether or not he heard it. That's all. I see. Yo, hello, Khan? You there? Well, I was muted because I was sneezing. Uh, 12. Uh, yeah, he probably didn't hear. Uh, he may have ta heard you talking excitedly, but that's about all he would have heard. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Yeah. Also, real quick, next week. Next week, it sounds like break, we, yeah. It sounds like we can't do it. Are we gonna skip the week, or we, do we want to move it around, or what do we want to do? When do you uh, get back from Texas, Charlie? Check real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna turn them down so we can have a little chat while they're trying to work out their schedules. So, okay, I don't dude. Next week either, so, so next week. It seems like we're going to miss, but the week so after, Sunday. I might actually just take some time and try and, like, prepare this whole, like, pitch for people to join my alchemy uh, pyramid <laughs> scheme. <laughs> and I'm going to, like, I'm gonna, we're going to get back to the end, and I'm just going to pitch this pyramid scheme to my party, and we'll see if I can get a couple of them to be uh, part of it. So, basically, what happened was is my character rolled a... An, in, uh, an intelligence check and I, I failed to see that what I was reading was a scheme <laughs> and so now my character is obsessed with trying to start this pyramid scheme <laughs> and I'm so excited <laughs> so now now I just get to RP as somebody who's like casually just throwing like this this alchemy potion pyramid scheme into conversations with people and I'm so excited <laughs> Um, and I need to send you the ingredients for the potion of healing. Okay. But, is, that, uh, yep. uh, is that the session? That is the session today, yes, okay. since you got to go to your, your game night, so. Yeah, we're going to do You got to go hang out with his real friends, unlucky? Yeah, unlucky. Yeah, no but, what are you hey, guys talking about? Not, not going to be stuck in the ARAMs. I mean, his, his, his real friends probably will listen to the MLM speech, too, so. <laughs> I, yo, okay. <laughs> I just want you guys to know that, like, I've been, so there, I've been talking to some people in Twitch chat, and I think I'm gonna like actually write up like a full on MLM pitch to give to you guys when we get back to the end, and I'm gonna make all of you roll intelligence checks to see. Oh, I already succeeded. <laughs> yeah, so right now, yeah. Bond does not care, so he is, he has no interest. <laughs> I've, dude, I've got, even well, if he thinks I'm, it would work, he just does not care I'm, about silly potions. I'm even writing up this whole thing, dude. I'm getting you guys. I'm telling you. It, in My intelligence is, is 16 with a plus three in proficiency. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. <laughs> just let him do it. I'm gonna roll a flip in nat 20 on this pitch, by the way. Bro, I'm telling all you, you can pitch you whatever gonna... you want, and I literally will not care. Still, uh, <laughs> I'm lucky. All right, well, we'll see you guys. So in, in two weeks, is that what we decided? Yeah. Kay. Yeah, we'll, we'll meet weeks. again in two weeks. Um, we'll, we'll go from there. Week, a little break. All right, cool. All right, so All right we'll... ARAM gamers. Yeah, <laughs> Good luck, you guys. I gotta go make... I'm going to hop off, too. So thanks, guys. Okay. Dude, okay, that was probably the most fun I've had in a D and D session. We didn't have we didn't have combat one time. We didn't have to roll initiative or have combat not one time, but I had an absolute blast. That was so much fun. Trying to like RP as a, a character who basically <laughs> I failed an intelligence check to like understand all of these different uh get rich quick schemes. And it was so good. Oh my gosh, that's like the best bit of harp, of RP I think I've had so far. This uh, this with this uh, session or with this campaign. I mean, yeah, the, uh, RP wise. So so Panic Blade uh, for anyone else in the chat who doesn't know, Panic Blade is our DM who was who was just here. Uh, and Oh, the little brawl over the hand of holding. Dude, I wanted the 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 mage hand to work out so badly. I wanted to do the mage hand, like sleight of hand. Oh my gosh, that would have been beautiful. Gosh, that would have been so good. But yeah, stream's not over. We're gonna. So I'm. I 
Uh, I have a, a Valorant Discord server, uh, and we're going to jump over to, to that here in a second and do a game night, like a trivia Valorant game night. So if anybody's interested, feel free to come by and uh, – or feel free to, like, stick around and have fun with that. If if not, thank you for, for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Let me – dude, that reminds me. I need to change the the stream title now. To Valorant Trivia Game Night. But yeah, Panic, I don't know if you're still around. Hush Mode here uh, is about to start his first ever campaign tomorrow, correct? So I, I gave him some tips that like, I mean, this is this is my first campaign that I've ever done, so I gave him some tips. But if you have any tips for him, feel free to shoot him out there. Let me uh, get all of this other stuff for for uh, game night put together here. D oh, uh, Hashima, do you know what you're probably planning on playing? I not uh, not really. I not uh, not oh, really. Sorry, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Fantasy. I sorry, I meant like uh what class? My bad. Like are you planning on playing like a barbarian or uh, something like that? Oh yeah, panic. You're starting a campaign. Are are you are you dungeon? Are you the DM for this new campaign that you're part of too? Are you going to be doing DM for two different campaigns? That's crazy if you are. Druid. Okay, Druid sounds so interesting to me. Your buddy's going to DM? Wait, you guys are both playing Druid? What on earth? <laughs> okay, I don't know anything about Druid. It, it is, is it similar at all to how Druid plays in, like, typical RPGs? The only thing I know about Druid is, like, Wild Shape, which is basically what allows you to shapeshift between, like, animal forms or something. Yeah, I, I sat down on our, on our character creation night, and I was like, yo, I'm playing a bard because I've seen all of these, like, TikToks and YouTube shorts of bards being like the goofy outlandish crazy member of the party and i was like 100 percent, that's me we're just full sending it answer my discord call oh are you trying to call me my bad yo hello yo yo i was just gonna i was gonna i was i'm sick of typing <laughs> oh yeah no yeah go for it go for it <laughs> um wait what was your question about dru oh druids um yeah, Wild Shape is like, it's pretty cool because the Druid, the way the Druid Conclaves work is they have different like ways that they can use that to their advantage. So I'm playing a Circle of Wildfire Druid, okay. and I can use a Wild Shape to summon a, summon a Fire Elemental. Um, Wait, so, like, so is Wild Shape not like how you shapeshift? No, wild shape is how you shape shift, but like the circles, depending on like what you do, can give you extra options. So, uh, yeah, I'll be done in a second. Okay. Um. Yeah, but anyway, that's that's what I was saying. It, I'm playing circle wildfire druid. It's really really cool. Um. And I can like I have like a spear, does, a wildfire does, spear. Does that that's like you to multi class somehow. Nope. Nope. So I get a you get a druid circle at level two or three, I think. Um, I, we're starting at level ten, so it's like. Oh, you're starting at level ten. Okay. Yeah. So we're very high, very much ahead. So anyway, nice. but I gotta go. Sorry, I was. All right. No, I yeah, you're I good. Longer, you're but good. anyway, good luck with game night. Yeah. Thanks, um, man. Thanks for dropping. Front of night. We'll see you later. DM in for us. See you. Yeah. Of course. All right. Let's hop over to this.
Valorant Discord scenario. I'm gonna try and make my character OP. <laughs> Yeah, I I think I think in our next campaign, I'm probably gonna go for a character that maybe does a little bit more. I feel as though I don't do a whole lot as a bard right now, so I, I think yeah, for sure, I'm gonna try and go for something that's a little bit more useful, both in and out of combat. Because right now, I just kind of do stuff, and I'm like, okay, you know, this is this is pretty whatever. I don't I mean I, I I'm I, I don't like do a lot of damage. I help my I I can give my team like inspirations and heroisms and stuff. Like I I basically like tell my team like you got this guys <laughs> and and then like it gives them an extra dice to like succeed on their rolls or do extra damage on their rolls. I can use charm to scam them all. Wait, that's a great idea. So maybe maybe what I'll do is I'll just be the. Uh, the uh how do i what do i the, like the the money maker because i'm just scamming everybody into joining my mlm my that's i think that's a great idea actually now that you say it that's a wonderful idea all right let's get this set up here him and him we got to add some people Uh, okay, not already. Did I? Okay, well, then we'll just do that then. Okay, perfect. Now, I can, yeah, yeah, no, we're for sure, we're for sure getting all the scams in in two weeks. Um, it, it, this, this next week is going to be the first break that we've taken since starting the campaign, so. charm might give disadvantage i really just watched a lot of D. &D. <laughs> so i'm still like even now like what are we seven eight sessions into this campaign i'm still trying to figure out how D, &D even is supposed to work so i i, I constantly am asking questions like, like, even even simple questions you know i'm just I'm like hey uh, I'm just now realizing this six sessions in. What the heck is a cantrip? I think I asked that like last week or two weeks ago. I was like, what on earth is a cantrip? So trying to learn all of the different complexities and, and intric intricacies of the game. It, it's been really fun, but it's also been uh, a little a little complicated. All right, let's get this over. Yeah. Uh, so, how did you, if if, you, if uh, you're okay with me asking, how did you find the the stream? Hushmud, you were you just surfing through D and D streams and stumbled across mine? I mean, we take those, right? But okay, let's. Cool, man. All, all of your friends played before. I didn't yet, so you're trying to figure it out before you do, even if you get no sleep. There's nothing like cramming a bunch of knowledge into your brain the night before you need to do something important. Nothing like it. It's beautiful. It's it's what I did all through middle school, high school, college. Like I just the night before, I just was trying to stuff as much knowledge into my brain. It didn't really work that often. It's why I probably dropped out. But you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's do this. I, 
I might just not do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think, I think I need to, I think I need to get my, my act together. Well, so I, I, to be fair, I've been trying to like be more, uh, Pro- proactive with my with my time and stuff so <clears throat> but okay that is updated that is updated let me do this all right i'm gonna turn the attention at least you got to go through some college. I got through I got through a couple years. That was about it. All right, I'm going to do um let me see here. All right, yeah. I I will just be right back. I I've been like holding in needing to use the restroom like this whole time. So I'm going to step away and use the restroom real fast and then when I get back, we'll do Valorant trivia night. Started. Oh, that was bad timing. What was that noise? That was Anon starting poker night because he's a loser. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> that was clumsy. Um, so, I think so. I didn't say so. Dang, well, I'll just cancel the poker. Wait, so Hunzi, are we not allowed to have your stream pulled up just in case, or...? Okay, because I want to read your chat. Really? Welcome. Welcome everybody to the trivia night. Uh, thank you for to whoever just followed. I, I didn't catch him. Oh, heretic! Thanks, buddy. Okay. Welcome everybody to the trivia night. Uh, we have not done one of these in a really long time. Uh, I'm actually going to pull this off here and here. Let's see here. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do that for now because I need to copy and paste something from you also need to be able to message people without showing your stream right or oh true okay so the stream um, so maybe no I stream mean, is, open maybe maybe no stream open i mean just have like something <laughs> over the top of it or something or whatever yeah uh okay let's okay i'll, I'll close i'll close out your stream yeah <laughs> All right, I am going to post the rules and everything for the stream in uh, a 
channel or for the for the game night. There you go. Take oh. take some time to to read through that. Uh, I am going to here. I, I will read them if you don't want me to to listen to me. You can just like deafen or something. Okay, so I know who's winning. GG. <laughs> the this is rigged. <laughs> the pro challenge. Welcome everyone to tonight's game night, uh, server game night. This evening's game is quite simple. We are going to be doing a trivia about the Valorant's pro scene. There will be three rounds, one for different pro aspects of Valorant. The player with the most correct answers will be crowned the winner and have the new agent unlocked, paid for by yours truly. In the case of a tie, we will go to a sudden death round where the first player to give an incorrect answer will lose. Rules, Valorant is not allowed to be open during the game night, nor any other... Uh, don't be Googling stuff, basically. No inter-contestant private discussion and no revealing to the group the answer to a lifeline you have received from the host. A lifeline uh, for this challenge is you can, give, you can receive a pro team logo. You can receive a chin screenshot. Or you can receive the answer to what role or roles these this player or players typically play. Lifelines once used may not be used again, and only one lifeline is available for use per round. The sharing of an answer from the host through a lifeline with the group will result in disqualification. The answer to each round will be given at the end of each round. In the case of a tie, the tied contestants will go into a head-to-head -head tiebreaker round with the remaining uh, pro Valorant. I forgot to change that part. Until one player stands, sits in their game chair, victorious. Lifelines are not available in the tiebreaker, nor will they be usable after the game is over or be worth bonus points for saving them. So use them up. Somebody in my chat said you could also ask chat. I'm, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. I've only watched League Pro games. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay. A chin screenshot. We're going to know what that is, right? A chin, like a chin. Scre a screenshot is like quite a, like literally a chin like. Of a person? Yeah, like the chin of. Oh, like, no. like if the question is about a player, like it'll just be like a screenshot of the player's I'm gonna chin. Send chin, bro. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to play this for fun, but GG, congrats, Makir. Bro. Good job winning. <laughs> One lifeline asking chat would actually be sick. We'll, we'll do that for, for our future game night, but not for this game night. That's actually a great idea, though. Okay. Um. All right. Let's it, make sure you guys don't have my stream. At least, like, have it, like, minimized or something uh, for because as I'm, like, copy and pasting questions and stuff. I'll just have it closed and stuff. Okay. Actually, I'll just pull it off to the side for right now. Um. Okay. Round one. Name the pro. Whoops. I did not. Round one. Name the pro. Okay. We are going to do two questions or two uh, name the pros per region. Per, per region that oh. is officially in VCT. So four regions. Correct. So there'll be two pros per region. So starting off with NA. Um, let's see here. Who is... Um, okay, will this work? I want to see if this works. Dang it. It doesn't work. Uh, okay. Who's, uh, does it work? Let's do this then. Who is this? I'm going to need the chin, um, the chin oh, screenshot. What? That's crazy. So don't, do it, type, so, but don't press type, enter. Don't okay. press enter. And then I'll give a little countdown. And uh, and then you guys can everybody three two one puts in their answer. I didn't study for this. <laughs> yeah, it's Joker. I have I have no idea who this is. 
You don't know who this some, is. Some bald guy with a <laughs> beard. It's gotta be the easiest one that he has on the board. <laughs> Okay, I don't. They're shiny. <laughs> if I ever do watch pro play, which I don't do often, I'm not staring at the face cam. I'm watching the gameplay. Oh, you already. I don't know who this person is. Okay, submit your answers <laughs> in three, two, one, go. <laughs> There's no chance you said tens. <laughs> no, I know what tens looks like. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. <laughs> Yo, Hawkin, that's crazy. <laughs> Braven spelled Michael wrong. Those look like Michael Loki. <laughs> yeah, that's minus, crazy. Minus the hair, plus about 100. Bro, I, I think I know 10s and Demon 1. Everyone else, I don't know who. Everyone knows the, go to, the most like famed players. That's <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hold on, let me I didn't know who team guys. this was. I mean, he's on a... Actually, I don't know if I could give away that much, but... Okay, who got it right? AK and Trapezoid. Uh, yep, oh I got God. it right. Let's go. Oh, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Heretic, heretic, heretic. <laughs> sorry. 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 Let's, Let's go. go. Relax, 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 relax. Okay. All right. Next one. Next one is... Stacy? Bro said Stacy. Stacy sometimes. Okay. Alright, so we can ban Andin any day now. <laughs> anyway, bro said John Doe. Who is this person? Is that Average Jonas? <laughs> that, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta be an insult to whoever this is. <laughs> um, hey, I did not have to come to this game night. Yeah, for real, <laughs> I do not know who these people are. Um. Dang, I really thought you guys knew the Valor Pro scene better than this. This is scuffed. Oh, no, bro. Oh, in no. eight months. We got this a bunch of rough. unprepared people, bro. I play the game. I don't watch it. <laughs> the amount of times I've told y'all to watch Pro scene, bro. Coming back to bite you. <laughs> play League, bro. All right. Yeah, that's a skill issue, Andon. <laughs> All right, submit your answers mm. in three, two, one, go. Andon was close, I think. <laughs> okay, that's a solid guess. <laughs> I'm missing two people. Where, where's your America. answers? Oh, oh, uh. <laughs> okay, get Walker out of here, bro. Get Walker out of here. <laughs> I would be raising <laughs> this game up, bro. <laughs> Wait, does Walker have to be in VC? <laughs> Walker's upset, unlucky. Okay, uh, Jonah P. So only, only AK got this one, dude. Kind of close to average Jonas, I guess. I went with the most common uh, American name. I don't think I got it. <laughs> Just because they play for any does not mean they're American. Okay, next, I mean, like... Next region is EMEA. That's a region? I'm gonna what start to filter, mean? maybe. Alright, it's Joe. You know, NA, look at the back of my head, and we'll see how this I'm, goes. I'm, I'm, <laughs> it's not a region. EMEA is just Europe, and then relax. Oh, they be changing the letters on me. What on earth? Back in my day, it was EU. That's <laughs> insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then Brexit happened. Who is this? Oh. Uh, uh, um. Um. I actually What's think a... AK knows this one. I, I actually common... think AK knows this one. I do know What's this a one. common Scottish name. <laughs> a common <laughs> Scottish name? Scottish that's name is crazy. Gotta be like. That, that's gotta be like. This is so not good. Oh my gosh. That's like borderline racist to know. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, questionable. Um, Does that sure say orange? Yeah, maybe. So, yeah. Alright, submit your answers in three, orange juice. two, one, go. Justin Bieber's a crazy answer. <laughs> Wait, Ed Sheeran? That's, That's who I crazy. thought initially. 
That's insane. It's my NA goat. And in, you put Rory? Are you okay? The <laughs> answer <laughs> is indeed narrate. Heretic, I'm proud of you, bro. Why does this feel like a password guesser? You know, <laughs> some... This is insane. Bro, wait, everybody's guessing Edge here, and hold on. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next uh, the next person in EU. Oh, this this one's this one's super easy too. This one's super easy too. Oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I got my answer. No, I I, yeah. I, I, I promise you guys. That, wait, hold on. I actually have such a good picture for him too. We're doing players. I only. <laughs> yeah, my uh... that one easy. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say this one. This one should be. This one should be really not that bad. I feel like I know the face, but I just can't associate names to faces, bro. Uh, he has two marks on the side of his neck. He's had to be a bitten by a vampire. There's no way. That's insane. You're gonna name. make fun of his What's a common freckles? vampire name. That's crazy. Oh, I got that. I, hold on, hold on. Yeah, common You're just gonna start saying uh, uh, random vampire name. Common vet vampire one. name. I'm gonna, Wait, I'm that's gonna actually that would have been such a good, a I good know. little like nugget. Just like I'm put doing a picture a of myself uh, when I was younger. <laughs> Bro's gonna do Dracula. That would have been so good. Oh my gosh, that's. I, I ain't one to spare us. Share us. No okay, Spiracy. submit answers in three, no two, <laughs> one, go. Right, isn't that, does the guy play Fortnite, bro? Yeah. Wait, what? Fortnite, <laughs> Benji Fishy. He, I can't believe he actually managed to like make the swap though. Like that was yeah. that was insane. He's the only there's a, there's pro couple, Fortnite player that made pro swap. Yeah. There's a couple of pro like uh, Fortnite players who just use Valorant as an in trainer. Okay, next region. Pacific. Oh, Ooh, Pakistan? Okay. Oh, I, think, I think China might be the one I struggle with. Pacific. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Actually, I Pacific. I don't know, bro. I, I don't watch most Pacific either. All right. You know. Wait. I live on the Pacific coast. That. That's not true. N <laughs> uh, you don't live on the coast of anything. I think this is where <laughs> I think this is where things are about to get really rough. Yeah. So, what? Um. Wait. 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 Wait, we should know this from the other day. Who is we? This is literally, like, this is a player who played, like, th two days ago, or no, yesterday, in the grand final. You don't watch it, bro. I didn't watch it. Problem is that four of those players have the same ha haircut. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. And I'm the one that's racist. So. How is that How racist? They just have the same haircut. I'm just How is that guess, bro. I'm just racist? Um... <laughs> Um, I'm gonna guess too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need that another second. This is the only one. Um, I might need a chin screenshot for this one. Wait, okay, can, <laughs> can I can I just know who played in the finals yesterday? Like, can I know the two teams? Sentinels, Sentinels, and Gen, and Gen G. Gen G. I don't know anything about Gen G, bro. Well, then it's Jover for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get, submit Jover, answers man. in three, two, one, mm. go. This is indeed right. Karen, Karen yeah. dude. Heretic, holy cow, man. I watched the entire finals yesterday. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you. Wait, like, did you know that or did you guess that, Michael? No, I guess, I guess that. There was three people okay. with the same haircut, dude. You That's what I'm saying. They, like, they have half the same haircuts, bro. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me get a chin picture, bro. No. <laughs> they all have 10's haircuts. That's crazy. It's true, though. 10's has the same haircut. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Here, my here comes the, the next answer. one. I already got my next answer. Who is this? Yeah, I got it right. Okay, so I know what team he's on. Um, I just. <laughs> Too bad it doesn't help you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember who's on these teams, man. Can I get the, can I get the chin screenshot? <laughs> Um, here, gonna, and I got I'm gonna, you. I'm gonna veto the chin screenshots for this round. <laughs> there you go, Andon. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh, um, I don't um, know exactly who he is now. I'm gonna yep. run a synopsis. All right, get ready to submit your This isn't three, even the right team, but I'm two, going for it. One, go. Not even the right team. 
That is not force. There's no way. Bro said George. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. That is not forsaken, my boy. No, I feel like bad. the skin. That is my boy, mind Dude, freak. It is mind freak. I've had actually... mind freak. Yo, this is a Trapper, two player game, you know, bro. Kang Kang is not in Pacific. I know. That's what I said. I said oh, he's not okay, on this that, team. No, oh. That's crazy. He's not even I, I said he's region, not. I, mean. <laughs> I said he's not even on this team at all. <laughs> I'm literally just throwing out random um random uh names, pro names that I know, okay? okay. All right, next one <laughs> is, is Canadian. Oh. oh. And I I only have I only have one for for this for this region by the way. I I, no. I didn't prepare to you for this region. That's fine. I don't know anything about China anyway. I China? you guys this, the region is China. The region that we're currently in is China, by the way. This is the biggest oh. gimme on the planet, by the way. I better yeah, that's my go. <laughs> this is the biggest gimme on the planet. Bonus points, by the way, if you I'm actually calling. type out his his gamer tag and not like what everybody knows um, him by. Hold on, hold on. Um, I'm still, I'm still doing gamer players. players. I gave up a while ago. One game. I remember this dude from one game. If I'm wrong, I swear to God. <laughs> I... I feel this... like I have his name, but I feel like I'm missing something in there. Well, there's there's a reason why I know why he's saying. Yeah, so th there's there's something that everybody Wait, knows him by, gone. but that like that that thing that everybody knows him by is not his gamer tag and what. Like, oh, his I'm probably putting. So you get a bonus point for oh. typing his gamer tag correctly. You get his you get a bonus point if you for typing his gamer tag correctly. <sighs> this bro needs a oh. bonus point. Yeah. Like. I'm like here, bro. Like, he knows this. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, submit answers in oh, three. Okay. Two, one. Uh, you know what? Can we give that to Hawkin or something? I think Michael's right. I think there is two games. Can we give this to Hawkin? Hold on, there is. That's crazy. <laughs> Can we give this to Hawkin? I, I knew I, I said I was missing something. I knew I was there, missing something. And there's no the just... shot. You said Guma Yushi, by the way. Oh, come on, leave the players. And then... what I know. It's what I know. <laughs> I'm going for the I'm support I... next. I'm glad I knew that it was King King just because I knew it wasn't his gamer tag. <laughs> I know my T1 team. Wait, so I still get a point, right? Because that's yeah, obviously yeah, King yeah, King. Yeah, yeah, okay. yes, 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 yes. I got three of the letters just hitting random keys, so... I yeah, do like we I give that to Hawkin? I feel like we should give that to Hawkin and the bonus point. We're not giving that to Hawkin. <laughs> okay. Alright, next, next round, next round, next round. Round two. Oh, no. Are you guys ready for this? It's over. Wait, can we get like oh, a, can we get, like, we a get like a scoreboard? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. Uh, Currently tied for the lead at six points is AK and Heretic, and then in second place with one point is Trapper. Yeah, it's go. Oh, I'm, on I'm on the board. I'm on the board. <laughs> I'm on the board. <laughs> playing tennis. This I'm playing golf. B yeah, and you're playing the wrong sport. America. I'm this playing is the golf. Opening tournament. For the Americas region this this year of 2024. Oh shit! <laughs> Who watched that, bro? This yeah. is every question in round two will come with a bonus point answer. By the way. Okay, so we're cheating. What? Which player um, had the most oh. first bloods in Champions Tour 2024 Americas kickoff? Bonus. How many first bloods were there? Oh yeah. Well, um, by this point. Okay, so I'm gonna just go for the bonus. <laughs> She's gonna go for the bonus. It's crazy. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> oh, now I know Trapper's answer. No, I don't know. Yeah, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> Actually, first enter. Hansi didn't see it. I know that for sure. Going, you're actually really <laughs> close. Hush, hush. You're, you're actually a random number close. after my name. Hope I get it right. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I did. I threw a random person okay. and threw Wait, in a random can I, number. Can I, get the, can I get the number right but the player wrong? Uh, yes. Really? Yeah. Ho, 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 ho baby. Okay, submit answers in three, two, one, go. I stuck with it. First head, 58. 58 first bloods is not correct. It is. Yeah. 
93. I knew he had a lot, bro. Sen played so many games. Oh, wait, it's not, it's like total? Total. total. I thought it was like so, in one game. No, total bro. first bloods in the whole oh, tournament. I knew, I knew who had the total. most first bloods 13. And during oh, kickoff. Sucks. Yeah, who had not the first most bloods first bloods. Game. Is is second, and he had. I knew it was gonna be a high number, but ninety three is crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I, I had I a bunch little... of I had like a bunch of stats that I was gonna pick to like quiz you guys on. It was literally second for like half of them, <laughs> and so I was like, "Okay, I gotta get a little bit okay. more creative with my stat questions." Okay, Zekin, I thought like I was close. Okay, so I can pick Zekin for all of these and have a solid choice chance. Okay. <laughs> not not this <laughs> he next just one. Said, okay. <laughs> Which player had the least kills in the entire America's Kickoff Tournament? How many uh, total kills one. did this player have? And I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys know. This question has two answers. There were two players mm -hmm. that were tied for the least amount of kills in the whole tournament. Oh, it's gonna be um, rough. I don't even know everyone who was there, bro. It, I didn't it, know I got this it, right. If 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 you answer both players, I'll give you a bonus point. Oh, if, if you only know one of them, I'll take that. Oh, what the? I need some Michael Jackson. Oh, I, mean, I got it. Michael Jackson is insane. I got it. Don't worry. I got it. Oh, no. Oh, I'm that's what you need to remember the bad team's me. rosters right now. Who are these people, Hunzi? Do they, they keep the roster the same, or like, will like one person play one game? Uh, um, sorry, what'd you, what you say, Hawkeye? Again, do do players like play like multiple games, or can they just play one game and get subbed out for the rest of the tour? They 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 can get play one game and get subbed out. That was not the case with America's kickoff. Um, that, that is possible, though. There, okay. there. I think uh, these these two players did play less total games than other players. Plural, though. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's two players. Yeah, there's two players that are tied for the least kills. So it's gonna be an odd number. Gotcha. Okay. What? What? <laughs> just, how do you get that from that, bro? Like what? All right. Submit your answers in three, two, one, go. I have no idea. Jeez, we both put second. Mine, mine was a guess. Same. I just put second backwards. Whoa. It was Havoc. <laughs> I thought Havoc turned it around, bro. I'm not going to lie. Bro, I, used, I got a lifeline. and I, I thought he turned it around. They're both on the same team. I got that. I just have no idea who any of those people on any of the teams are, bro. <laughs> so I thought I had it with Grim. Oh gosh. Yeah. So um, I mean, Liazi or having they're both on Furia, by the way. They're both on the same team. Is is Andin wrong with that? Grim uh, technically did have zero kills in the Champions Tour 2024 America's Kickoff. This is this is technically <laughs> true. Yeah. <laughs> What I'm hearing, I should be at the top of the leaderboard. Cap, we're, I'm yeah, keep this cap right now. In case okay, you know. this, th this question. Have two M's. Feel free. No. To oh. ask clarifying questions about this next question, okay? Okay. Which player was left in the most clutch scenarios in Champions Tour 2024 America's Kickoff? What is a clutch scenario? A that clutch like a is like how many like, words do I need to type here? Uh, so what? Like oh, if, if, if you. Like if you would have won the round, and at the end of the round it was like clutch or whatever, like that, that the clutch whatever pops up on your screen, that's what a clutch scenario is. Like you're in the you have the option to get that to pop up on your screen. The how many MLA format? How work? do you get that? Is it just like a, like a one v two or like like a one v two, one v three, one v four, one v five? Just like if you're in a situation where you're like in a disadvantage and then you come back and win it. I, I, think, it, I think it's 1v2 plus, I think is what uh, uh, a what clutch. Yeah. I thought it, it could it also be a 1v1 with a uh, bomb planted. I think it, I think it also could be a 1v1 with bomb planted. I genuinely have no clue. 
But yeah, so, so th here. Th this player throughout the entire tournament was left in the most 1vx scenarios. All right, I'm going off a limb here. That's my line. It's all good. Okay. What? When did you say that? Like so <laughs> you. That's Your crazy. In three, two, one, go. Don QT. It is John Key yes. with 62, 62 during kickoff? Yes. What? What? <laughs> what? That, that, I don't know. That, uh, that's, that's insane. insane. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to know the stat, uh, he... He had a 21 win percentage in clutch scenarios, by the way. What? Where's the... Like, um, John Cuny oh, I guess he plays Cypher. Him. No, he's a Cypher man. <laughs> he's, oh, a yeah, he's a Cypher man. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. IGL, so, AK, Chad Cypher man. Gets a point, and Heretic gets a point. Where does he get the... Where are you getting these stats from? These stats are from VLR.gg. Oh, oh gg i got the right it's easy They're bro <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 hey, hey, hey. Uh, yo, honor code honor system boys honor system okay it's okay i'm not stone bro i'm not weird okay th this th this this was a fun question by the way and i will give you guys even a bonus okay the answer a, a is bonus? not zekin which player had the oh. highest headshot percentage in america's kickoff what was this percentage? Uh, headshot percentage. Wait, what were the lifelines again? Life wait, so is, is, the, is it like people? Is it teams that like also like were in and then? Yeah. So, so this is this is from like the beginning of America's kickoff all the way through final. And then, if we want to like line, the highest DM total, me, right? you you DM yes. me which lifeline you would like to use. I got this. Um. So that's be like a percent. This might be it. Kind of thing, like point or something. No, it is a whole percentage. A whole number. Okay. Okay, hold on. Both of you guys asked for the same lifeline. Give me a second. <laughs> yeah, give it to <laughs> me too, bro. Giveaway, dude, this might be a giveaway. Give it to me too. Alright, that's what I'm going with. Imagine needing new lifelines. <laughs> <laughs> and then because it's because the lifelines won't help you that's why you don't have to use them just give me some league questions uh, yeah no one's going to give you a league question in a valorant discord server on a valorant game night or valorant, valorant agent like four months bro uh, okay this has nothing to do with you playing valorant sorry give me one second it's, it's, it's taking me a second to get the chin that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. I do want to ask for someone's chin throughout this. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Random chin. <laughs> Wait, whose chin was that again? Um, nice, chin? nice try. It was Second. Karen's chin. Oh, no, that is a giveaway. That is the that is the Giga Chad chin. I know who that is. I know who that you is. You actually know, I know who, who that, that is. is. Yes, that is a Giga Chad chin. I have, I know who this is. <laughs> I know who this is. That's crazy. That is a that is a Giga Chad chin if I've ever seen one. I know who that is. <laughs> okay. All right. Get ready to submit your answers in three, two, one, go. Is it net? Percentages? The answer Early is net. Net. It is net. Dude, I'm With telling you, that's a 39% to headshot that's percentage. Crazy. And then there's no shot you think Shroud is hitting a 74 in a pro tournament. <laughs> yeah, but you see what I said afterwards? Think about the real things here. Come on. <laughs> well, give me a better shot at least. My first guess was less. You two guessing percentages. Okay, moving on. To... I had to type really quick. He was, count he was counting them before I even got the chin. I got the chin. He <laughs> down like five seconds. Uh, my bad. Uh, you can you can always just say, "Hold on, give me a second. Okay, round three. This is. Oh, give me a second. Oh, sorry, keep going. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is Masters Madrid trivia. 
The most Ooh. recent Ooh. international Ooh. tournament. Wait, what, what's the, Am I allowed uh, to look for the score again? Are we tied, me and Michael? Uh, you and Michael are both tied at eight. Wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> not even Am I still in second with one? You're still in second with one. <laughs> Let's can, I, can I go to Google and look at what Madrid means? <laughs> you don't. Okay. No, you can't go to Google and look up what what Madrid means. Because you probably get answers for that. I don't know. Probably look up like Valorant Masters Madrid or something and get like every answer he's gonna okay. ask. Can we, can we look up he's gonna go to Webster. Just, like, Webster Dictionary. <laughs> which the, the the first question of of round three is which team did not win oh, a ooh. single map? Ooh. I don't think I'm getting this one. Did all the pro teams play Which at team Madrid? So Madrid was so an bad. invitational international tournament where two teams from each region attended. Oh, um, um If okay. I said Sentinels, would I get yelled at? Well, let me go through them in my head. No, you wouldn't. All right, I'm yeah, not I, saying Sentinels. I will, I will okay. even, I will even. I got it. Read off the teams that were at oh, the event. Oh, we get. We oh, yeah. Please do that. Please do that. Yeah. Can we get a multiple choice? The, I mean, th there's eight teams. Okay. So yeah, multiple. Choice. There yeah, is. is yeah, I think. I think we both have it. Yeah. There is. I think we both have it. Uh, loud, Sentinels, oh. Paper okay. Rex, Fun Plus Phoenix, Gen G, Team Heretics, Edward Gaming, and Carmine Corp. It got to be Team Heretic, mm -hmm. right? It's got to be Team Heretic. Can you, can you go through those Team one more Michael. Time? Can I what? Can go through those one more time. Yes. <laughs> Bro. Loud, loud, Sentinels, Paper Rex, Fun Plus Phoenix, Team Heretics, Edward Gaming, Genji, and Carmine Corp. Michael made it to Madrid, a pog. I made it to Madrid, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even play. The, 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 this team did not win, not even a single map. We're not talking like best out of three, like one game. Not one map. Zero maps won by this team. Like zero rounds total? Like no, they got 13 node? No, <laughs> the, the zero maps. Like they could have lost 13 11. Every series. But they got two out every series, yeah. Imagine getting zero 13 right. every single game you played. Submit in your program. answers in three, two, one, go. You brushed out 100 thieves. That's insane. What? What? What's wrong it with that? It is indeed Fun oh, Plus damn. Phoenix, dude. They went 0 and 4 and were just immediately eliminated from the tournament. And then he listed out the the options. And you said 100 thieves. You had a 1 in 8 oh. chance and you somehow <laughs> took the 0 and 9 chance. <laughs> Okay. Seriously, Next question. The voices got too loud. What was the prize pool for Masters Madrid? Can we get like a multiple Ooh. choice again? I think no. I know this one too. No, yeah, I know, uh, I know this one. I know no, this one. No multiple. I don't know it like exactly, but I think I know it. Is there, um, is, wait, is there not a is there not a bonus point for this one? No, no bonus point for this one. Damn. I was looking to catch up to McHugh here, and it's not gonna happen. <laughs> The I I want to say next question has a bonus. Can I get a ballpark? No, the the Can you give us the amount of yes. digits. The the amount of agents? No digits. digits. He said digits. Digits? No. Yeah, I I need like a I need like a uh, like a ballpark. A yeah, I, yeah, yeah, kind of, kind yeah, of. Is. No. Oh. Um. Okay. This, remember this this is a beginning of the season international tournament. This isn't like this isn't like the world championship or anything. This is just. An international tournament. Right, here, here's your ballpark, Trapper. One and one thousand million. <laughs> what? Um, Dude, one thousand million seems kind of high. Yeah. I mean, it's not even a real number. That's how big it is. All right. <laughs> Submit your answers in three, two, one, go. I thought that was my original answer. I had that as my it is original answer. It is five hundred thousand dollars. Watching like one stream of this stuff gives you so oh. many answers. <laughs> I had five hundred thousand first, and then you guys said like, if you knew what the amount of digits it would be, would be a dead giveaway. So I thought seven, one million, you know, like. <laughs> Yeah, if, that's what I, I thought. If you, said six, if you said six, it could have been 100, 250, 500. There's so many options, bro. I okay. thought I was pretty close. 
I thought, I mean, <laughs> would you value That's a girlfriend crazy. at 500K? I wouldn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Which two that was his chance to get it. did not get picked at all during Masters Madrid? You get a at point all? for each agent. Wait, so... Really, all of them got picked up for two? Every single agent was selected except two. Which two? Okay, my second um, the first one's obvious. The second one is I, I feel like I gotta now. Would the question that. have been three if there were three? Yes. What? No, all right, just making sure. <laughs> now, how high did I go until it stops? I well, this just isn't a question. Uh, up until there's five agents left, and then you, like, wait, what? Uh, all right, that's that's cool. That's cool. Oh, I can probably get. Ah, mm, uh, this is tough. Hmm. Are we allowed to look at all the agents Dude, so we can just see what they really are? Because I'm looking for getting them. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say, that. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Okay. Like I know Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like, Hold on. He's gonna pick them. Can I use Grammarly Premium or is that cheating? <laughs> what? For what? I'm so. Scared. I just tried to DM my friend I'm dead. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to remember them too. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll give you guys like uh, 30 more seconds to think about it. Yeah. Oh, I need a chin headshot. I'm so stupid. Wait, what if I got the chin headshot on the dollar, like the, the prize pool? Well, that would have... Okay, that's what I was thinking. Do the lifeline sell on this one or no? Uh, yes, no, lifeline. Li life... Wait, they don't work though, do they? Let's well, there's one that the says agent. what roll. No, one one roll. I appreciate sure yeah, like, that's a, a pretty that's good That's a 50-50 though. What if he gives me the roll I already guessed? This is true. Mm. Yeah, you know what, what, I mean? like, what, what roll is, yeah, what roll is an available lifeline for this one? Oh, wait, that's the wrong button. Um, what was the I mean, Chin line? would work too, you know? No, we got Chin, what role, what was the other one? Team logo? Chin, yeah, I, I guess, I guess, I guess Chin would work. I guess Chin would work. Okay. I, think, right, I think these are... In... Oh, hold on, we got wait, a lifeline. Wait, wait, wait. We, got a, we got a lifeline. lifeline. Wait, I'm so iffy on which one this would be. Have a lifeline. Give me one second. Oh, I think I have it. I wish I had it. Like how this isn't really I anything. I, I think I, I have think it. I, have it. I, I I'm ninety nine percent sure on mine. I, just I I'm pretty sure on mine. I don't have to watch pro play to know. Which characters are not exactly. good in pro play? <laughs> like, I went through every agent in my head, and I'm 99% sure that everything except for these two, I've seen someone play. Exactly. Well, well I know it's not Cypher. It can be. Dude, dude's Hold going on, okay, sorry. alphabetically I just had to through get the, the agents, and he just got to see. <laughs> I surely couldn't be Jet. Jet's got to be them. <laughs> Personally, I think personally, I think Viper was picked the least. Can we play Bingo it, next time? That's really. Easy. I think it's Clove, to be honest. Oh, well, I mean, you wouldn't be wrong. I might, might, might be, might be cooking. cooking. That's like oh, Andon like saying Bingo. Grim with zero. Oh, dude, oh. Valorant Bingo would be Agent lit, bro. Agent Eight hasn't been played. Oh, Who's Agent Eight? The one that never released. <laughs> or it was it twelve? It was Agent Eight or twelve? They got never released or something. Why, dude? I don't. I play, it's been so long. I don't even know their names. Hold on. I, I forgot, forgot that agent existed. Yeah, there was like a hidden agent that was never. Shit, what's the guy's name? Um, Bob. Oh, thank hey. you. That's that was it. Ten more seconds. Ten. Bob nine, and Ross never eight, was played. Ten, eight, eight, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know their name. I don't know their name. Okay, so my answers in three, two, one, go. Okay, I'm I'm with the majority. Oh, that's his name. I'm so stupid. The Do we give him a point? Is ISO and Deadlock. No. All right, so everyone is on the board now. Everyone just got two points. Nothing changed in the score. Oh, no, I only got one point. One. <laughs> I didn't know his name. <laughs> hey, but you knew who? Like, you know. His... They really missed on these last two agents, holy. Yeah, they really did, huh? 
I forgot. I mean, Clove looks, Clove looks, looks like it's gonna be meta though, so. I knew that one right away, bro. I was like, no team in pro is gonna pick that, bro. Yeah, yeah. brain dead. Yeah, no, I. Which player had the most assists total? This is across the entire tournament. Uh, at Masters Madrid, bonus. How many assists was it? Okay, hold on. Let me let me think of who. What team won Masters? Can, can you tell me that? Which team won? The fact that you don't know that's crazy. No, we cannot <laughs> tell you that. That is no, insane. I'm not disrespectful <laughs> that kind of is like unbelievably disrespectful i don't watch pro play like you, you have to you understand you didn't need to bro that's the craziest I part i don't know i don't even go on to like twitter or anything and look at you the results i don't either. anything you didn't need to look at what Ma Ma madrid means Ma what? madrid is a city in spain bro you said do i need uh. to know what madrid means <laughs> 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 I'm done, that's bro. crazy. <laughs> that's insane. Wait, hold on. I don't even know who's on the team anymore. Wait, what were the lifelines again? Um, it was Logo, Chin, and what? Logo, Roll? Chin, and Roll. What role does this player play? Ooh, Ooh wait, I think like, Roll's not going to be lines. helpful. I, I didn't mean to do that. Um. Wait. You already know, Hunza. You already know what I'm looking for. You, Question. You can only is, use each for... lifeline once. Oh, oh you okay. Can... That's what it is. Yeah, okay. Oh. You just answered my question. Uh... Can you use more than one lifeline per question? No. Okay. All right, all right. But you can well, use more than... Much. <laughs> so you can use one of each lifeline oh, yeah, out of I the three per round, right? Yes. That did not help with okay. okay yeah. And once you use one lifeline, that specific lifeline is no longer available. Oh, so I don't, you I don't think I got this so, one. So you, okay. Uh, I think I think I might. I think I might decline your lifeline, Trapezoid, because I gave you one similar to this before. Like it helped me before. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's crazy. Um, okay. I thought it reset per round. No, it resets. Uh, it never resets. The, each lifeline is only usable one time throughout the whole game. Oh, in the rules. Hold on. Am I tripping? I was about to pull Wait, I'm between about, two right now, bro. He's busting out the Yeah, it says only me. one lifeline is available for use per round. Indicating oh, that you'd be able to use it multiple times. I will clear up. I will clear up that language, but I am not gonna give it to you. Unlucky, <laughs> unlucky, I will clear bro. Up that language for future game nights, but yeah, no. Um, I mean, to be fair, in any intention. past game night, it's never been that. So correct, yeah. This okay, fifty-fifty for me, bro. All right, get ready to submit just... your answers. In three, two, one, go. Two hundred one thirty-two. What? The answer is He's tens fun. with two hundred and twenty-six assists. Wild. The fact that Heretic was kind of close on that is insane. I got an answer, bro. Dude, I, he literally what? like only plays Omen and uh, like every everybody he plays. Dude. Yeah, Omen is OP for smokes. Uh, so okay, we have a tie between Heretic. And AK. Again. It is a it is time. So that that is the end of round three. It is now a sudden death. Oh, uh, it's over for me. It is yeah. not, yeah. It is now a sudden death stat round. Oh yeah, it's no. over. It's over for me. Alright, me and my homies playing poker. I am not playing poker with you. Okay. I'm pulling up the stream. <laughs> uh, uh I'm trying hold on, let me let me see here. This is gonna be bad, dude. It's it's over. I feel like I'm gonna throw this one too. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find a stat that's not Zekin. <laughs> that's tough. <laughs> Everything oh. is Zekin, dude. Did you guys hear his mic? <laughs> what the? Okay. Dude, auto tune for a second for me. Mine? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's funny. Yeah, he does that sometimes. <laughs> Okay. He really doesn't. All right. 
Which player at Masters Madrid across the entire tournament had the highest KD? Not KDA, KD. No. Is there a bonus point for? Oh, you can't. We can't use lifelines here, huh? No lifelines in sudden death round. Oh, he said it's not Zekin. The highest. Well, he didn't say it was KD. No, I said it, I, I, it's, it's not Zekin. It's not Zekin. Reverse psychology. <laughs> It's got to be KD. less, right? It's got to be. Highest KD. Time to hop on Clash of Clans. Not crazy. We have to get the... We, it's not the person who's closest, right? We have to get the player. You have to get the player. Oh, shoot. All right. I'm, what if I'm we both mess up? Hard. If you both mess me. up, we just go into another question until one of you okay. gets it. Uh, let me think for a second. Highest KD in, in Masters Madrid? In Masters Madrid. I'm glad I know what that means now. Bro. Highest KD. Okay, shot in the dark, I guess. Okay. All right. All right. Submit your answers in three, two, one, go. Both of those okay, are incorrect. So numbers. The oh, answer the right answer? is less. Of course it was, bro. <laughs> Less than what? Guy, isn't that guy like a Sentinel controller player? Yeah, he's like him, though. Oh. He's like the Alpha Year of uh, South America. Okay, and on to the next mean... question. Which player <laughs> across Masters player. Madrid as a tournament in its entirety had the highest cast? Per... So that is that stands cast? for kill, assist, trade, or survive percentage. Wait. For each oh one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I, no idea. I feel like th 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 this player basically I either got a kill, an assist, a trade, or a sur or survived. What you know, the highest Another amount of dark. rounds. Yeah, yeah not the I'm highest amount of uh, the highest amount in rounds. Hmm. Guess in the dark. Yeah, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. He's pulling out the real stats for these questions. <laughs> I know hard. this is gonna be rough. Okay, so oh, yeah, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. submit your answers in three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. okay. Yo. John QT was third in this stat. Oh, wait, who was first? The first is Shin. Of course. At 81%. I have that. By the way, John QT was at 79%. Holy. I heard that stat at the last, bro, that he was at like 70 something percent. That's why I guessed him. I guessed him because of the clutches, dude. He was always like so surviving, you know? Like, it's it was be. like the fifth map of the finals, bro. They said something about him having like a 70 something. And I was like, all right, it's gotta be John. Okay. <laughs> this this is a funny this is a funny stat. Jump. This is a funny stat. This, this might take a while. This but this, this stat is first deaths per round. Oh god. Basically the, the question is which player had the Wait. highest first death per round? So who has the biggest ego? <laughs> who yeah, which player oh, I, died I have a person in mind first, that I don't remember most me. often? Wait. Wait, uh, wait, Hunzi, does the first it. rule still apply that it's no. it's not it's not Oh. No, this is, it hasn't applied for the last couple for the last two. Oh. It was just oh, the no, first one, yeah. Yeah, cuz now I cuz now I'm wondering if it's that or <laughs> Hey, bro's oh, no. giving away what his answer is going to be. Yeah. I know, but I I feel like I shouldn't trust that. So who has the wait, hold on, what was it? It is so the stat is called first death per round. Basically like th this this player died first the most on a per round basis first the most i have no idea Dude, honestly I, I'm, I'm i'm guessing this i i don't want to i have <sighs> someone in my mind but i can't remember their name bro just can't I might have to just guess too randomly so for someone I can't remember. Okay. Get ready to um, submit your answers. Hold, hold on. Give me, okay. give me like five seconds. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You, you guys both understand the, the, the question, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I, I really don't remember this guy's name, but I just can't. I'm just going to guess randomly, I guess. Sure. All right. Some answers in three. Two, one, go. The answer is 
Zekin. Yes. <laughs> with Monette being third in Dude, who was most. second. Second was Martin. Martin. Oh, I don't know who I was guessing, bro. G G. I don't remember the team they're on. The answer is indeed Zekin. So I wanted to guess, but I was like, I, I feel like I'm screwing myself by guessing that. <laughs> who's, who's, who's surprised like, a 50 -50. by this Either guide the most, or I was just like seeing things. <laughs> yeah. He was just running in most. He's either running in, dying, or running in and getting a 4K. It was like 50-50 on him. Yeah. So you guys, you guys want to hear some other Not just like for fun stats about Masters Madrid? Here, I'll pull these up sure. on 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 screen. I that has been for me. Okay. Who Jeff is surprised at the winner <laughs> in Masters Madrid? So, so in, in America's, John QD was left in a clutch scenario 62 times. In Masters Madrid, it was 80. And he won 14 out of those 80 clutches. Wait, who? John QD. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, 14 out of he Bro, the fact that his like, those team Those are clutches, not 1v1s. Him, yeah, the, the fact that his team left him in 80 of those is crazy to me. He's the GOAT. Yeah. Um, I was gonna guess Berlin. That was the that was the guy I couldn't remember. <laughs> oh, Ber oh, let me see here. First deaths per round, Berlin is he's like what is he? One, two, three. But four, they five, lost six, right seven, away eight, though. Eight, didn't nine, they? 10, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they played less games, and so yeah, uh, yeah. Berlin was such a meme though. <laughs> Dude, bro, FPX bombed out of the tournament. So, yeah, these stats, by the way, uh, can be found on VLR, VLR.gg, and then you can look up individual events or whatever. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's cool. where I, I got all of these all of these stats from. I'm Some really... Some I've never even heard of. Yeah, I know, huh? Some of these stats are great. Like the last one you said, what'd you call it? Cast. Cast, bro? I thought you were going to, like, I thought it was something about casters until you explained it. Oh, you know, yeah, kill, assist, trade, or survive. Didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. So, and then the, the actual, the lowest head pro, head, headshot percentage at the tournament was from Patty Cake or Padded Padded Tech. Padded Tech. Patty Cake. He's pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's a sub too. He's not even the main person. I don't think. Like he's like their sixth man. Uh yeah, bro. FPX only played a total of 86 rounds at Madrid. Yeah, that's not a lot at all. <laughs> that's horrendous. I mean, like, that's like almost the same amount of rounds that John QT was left to clutch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sentinels play almost two times that during kickoff. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, these are the these are the stats I pulled from. I'm really sad that Walker wasn't here because I knew that he would have tore up this game night too. Yeah, Walker would have probably won for sure. Uh that guy watches pro play like it's his religion. <laughs> but yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna close out the stream for the night though. Uh, Audio. I'll be back in a second. Thank you, everybody who tuned in to the stream. It has been an insane stream tonight. It's been probably the best in most recent memory. Being able to just sit here and hold nearly double digit viewers for a large portion of the stream has been absolutely amazing. Hush, you're a great chatter. I really appreciate you. W chatter. And thank you for everybody else who tuned in as well. And we'll see you guys later this week. Deuces.